do 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 you're alive just in time wow who could have seen that coming right on time for once what a shock unfortunately there's no like let music keep playing while in the background so right on time every time i click off thank you echo it's gonna go in that's okay welcome everyone to last Epoch. I'm already on the character selection. This is an isometric ARPG like Diablo or Path of Exile or Lost Ark, all of which I have played that um, just fully released. It's had some server issues, but uh, hey, we're here now. It's online. I'm online. I'm going to make a new character. Now, I've never played Lost Epoch before. I have been requested to more recently, but it came into early access in like 2019, I think. And uh, I have really heard nothing but good things. So I'm excited to give it a shot. These are all the characters. There is a warrior, a rogue, a rune moss. No, rune moss is a thing. Mage, that's what he is. Um, Excuse me. Thank you. A primalist. That's not. Yeah, that's what you are. And then the acolyte, whom, of course, we shall be playing. Each class has three masteries, so there's basically, effectively, like, 15 classes. And I'm actually interested in all of these. I, of course, will be going for the Necromancer myself. But a Necromancer, Lich, and Warlock is the new one, I guess. And I am... I'm not saying that if I like this game, I'll just make three Acolytes. But it's a thing, it's a thought I've had. Equaxicoro and Kiravets, wow! I'll tell you past it, but you're here now. That's what matters. That's what matters. Uh, I don't know when we get to choose these, but you choose them during the, the campaign. And the main reason I'm going Necromancer, what convinced me, is that uh, this abomination, I think is called a Bone Golem? The Bone Daddy? Ooh. I hope that's true. Anywho, we'll just be going with the Necro, the Acolyte, and we shall be bringing forth Apatia, of course. Like many ARPGs, there are, you know, they're gender locked, so. But everyone's going to do a chill, normal mode. Uh, I am on US East because for some reason that has less MS than US Central for me. Here we go. In the beginning, there was darkness. Only the terror, myself, and the void. I was content with nothing. She dreamt of light, of life, of humanity. We disagreed, and yet, in her world, there were gods. Majasa of the desert, Lagon of the sea, Rye of the endless skies, and Hierot of the frozen tundra. Are these the bosses? But fate stole Ekera away. Without her, there was conflict. Then wars. In the end, it was Rae who sought to outshine the sun that would pull the world into his flame. Caught within Rae's gaze were the keepers. An order sworn to protect Etera's memory and the power it still holds. They were joined by someone unexpected. A traveler willing to walk into the flames of war. But why? Was it honor they sought? Power? Redemption? Or was this fate? Perhaps. But no story is quite that simple. I'm an acolyte. I'm here I'm here to destroy life. After all, life is a disease, as we know. You've been up since yesterday. Wow. Impressive as always, Kidmets. Hey Star Dragon. I just started. I should mention I don't know anything about the story of this game, so I will be uh, playing with it. Now, additionally, I don't like using a camera. 
This is obvious. So, chat is on. But if I have to disable it, I will. Because we all know how this can go... Uh, swiftly awry. I don't know what the referral thing they're talking about is. So, uh, you know, you can watch chat if you want. So, we're here in the tutorial. Good fun. If these keepers will accept my aid. So then, I don't know. Fools to deny my power. Oh, wait. It's over here. And, um, you know, it's gonna be pretty chill. Let me know how the volume is as I rip the soul from these little eyeballs. And, um, start our little journey. You are taking damage. Use health potions to restore your health. Health potions are found frequently and can be bought from vendors. You know what else it can be used frequently? Rip Blood, my starting acolyte ability. Assuming I aim it at the right person. Very nice. Very cool. I kind of... How do I move it? Can I put it on my right click? It looks like cosmetic star. In the hands of a fallen messenger, you find a letter from the Keeper's Council. It is addressed to you. Our Heoborian allies informed us that you will attend the peace talks. What? Raya's war has reached our lands, and we are in need of aid. Peace? As Keepers, we avoid conflict. We're dedicated to the goddess Atera's memory. That is, until Raya forced our hand. He wishes to destroy us and steal Atera's legacy. We can't let that happen. We need Hirot's help. Your help. Cool. I'm happy to help. Wait, you have words? I thought you were dead. Oh, yeah. He is dead. What a shock. Q for the win. I know, right? Rip and tear. With less physicality, though. Hey, look, it's an armored phoenix. I outheal its breath. Not a very good phoenix. <laughs> Did you come from Total War Warhammer? Because, you know, sometimes those high elf phoenixes, they leave a little bit to be desired. This might be sus. Oh, yeah. I had to use a health pot. Oh, no. It's all ogre now. My efficiency is dead. Should I be cutting these? I don't know. All I do know is that my melee weapon, this, does no damage. It's trash. It's garbage. I probably shouldn't stand in this. <laughs> Just, you know, a thought. Oh, hey! Skeleton. How, what does this work? How does this work? Okay, I see a skeleton up here. We have a one. What do you do? Summons a skeleton warrior or skeleton archer to guard you. You are limited to three skeletons at a time. Press A to give your minions an attack command. One. Two. Cool. A. A. Is that why it's A? <laughs> Alright, we're starting strong. We're starting strong. Why would we ever join a goddess who doesn't like war? That's a great question. This bear is fast, dude. Also dead. Very cool. Only in war are we truly alive. Wait, hold on. You can swap skills in your action bar by left clicking on them and using the fly out menu to change any skill you have unlocked. Left click. Oh. Cool. I don't need a melee attack. I'm a, I'm a necromancer. What do I need melee for? I don't even need a weapon. I can only hold two potions. Blood for the blood god, skulls for the skull throne, indeed. There we go, we have the right click. The ultimate dream of all ARPG enthusiasts is to just hold right click. Click? Oh. <laughs> it's a walk, not a click. Got it. You're a blood knight, aka you don't mitigate damage, you just don't heal it. Very true. I wonder what the in-game builds look like for this character. I wonder if there, there's any blood related. The only thing I know about in-game builds is that the the Void Knight is the uh, the spin to win. 
The bodies are burnt beyond recognition. They were fleeing the Craven Dogs. Okay. Alright, let me know if it's lagging or anything. I think it's okay from my end. Suppose I should check OBS. That would involve clicking something, you know? Ooh. Auto equip. Nice. There is a, an incredibly robust, like, inventory, crafting, and, like, loot filter system. But I don't expect we'll have to get into that today. I tried to suck the blood of this guy. I'm sorry, friends. Marrow shards. Wait, hold on. Let me heal. Let me heal off their blood. Okay. What do we got? Fire sharpened bones from your body. The bones pierce through enemies inflicting physical damage. Instead of mana, 9% of your current health is consumed. Oh. That seems... questionable. Here we go. It's all beginning. Gain passive points by leveling up and completing quests. Advancing your passive trees will unlock new skills and passives. Initially, you may only place points in your base class tree. You will have the opportunity to choose a mastery during your adventures. Once you choose a mastery class, you will gain access to the left section of each mastery and the right section of your chosen mastery. You only select one mastery per character. Okay, cool. So we're over here. We can increase damage, increase minion damage. I like that. I can increase armor and minion armor, or I can get forbidden knowledge. Do I don't know what intelligence does. Same. Each point of intelligence gets four percent ward retention and improves skills that relied on carefully such magic such as rip blood and summon skeleton. Oh, that sounds good. But I also like damage. Okay, um... I mean, fuck it. Minion damage, you know? We're when down. you arrived, was there a family? Uh, they're gone now. It was my mistake. They were cornered. And there were so many. Eh, yeah, don't feel bad for yourself. I can handle Ospricks. I told them to stay back. To let me handle it. And they left. It's war. You can't save everyone. What good are we if we can't? Sorry, I just met you and it's been a long road. Are you also here for the peace talks? Not really. I mean, that's right. Good, because so am I. Name's Grail. Since we're both headed the same direction, why don't we go together? Sure. I wonder which of us will take down more Ospricks. Mm. Come, let me watch you fight. Okay. What are these referrals for? I don't know. Anyhow, I'm just going to keep ignoring the chat. Like I said, I'm going to turn it off if things get too spicy, but until then, you know, just have fun. I don't care. Not going to lie, kind of interested in how Lich and Necromancer are different from each other in this game. Uh, since personally I feel like a Lich is just the final form of a Necromancer, I agree with you. I have a soft spot for Liches because in EverQuest Online Adventures, there was... um. I like to say that I was the only 10-year-old Lich on my server, which may or may not be true. But <laughs> basically, the Lich was the master class for the Necromancer in that game, and it was big fun. But in this game, from just the images I've seen when I was looking for um, thumbnail material, Necromancer is about the pets. And the Lich has pets, but it's more about um, the... If you've seen, oh no, what's that game called? The card game with the great, like, Celtic music that I played a little bit. It had, like, the Blood Mage and the Summoner. It's like that Lich, where he summons and the Lich can transform into, like, a Revenant thing of a bobber and just do heinous damage. It's like that, from what I understand. I could be very wrong. And for what? But uh, that's, that was my initial impression. And then the warlock is like old god shit, which was really tempting. But um, I have to, I have to be with my bone daddy. That said words, I didn't read them. Something to stun, or some shit. Anyway, unlock skill specialization. More reading. What do we got? Enemies. 
That's what we got. Oh shit, how do I open that? A skill system introduction. Click on a skill to view the augment trees. Click on an action bar slot to access the skill selection panel. You can specialize in up to five skills by clicking an unlock specialization slot located above, which unlock as you level up. Specializing in skill related gaining skill points for that skill by earning experience, which you can use to empower and augment it. Oh dear. No, some skills do not have an augment tree available yet. Okay. So we can augment. Ooh, wandering spirits. Reveal wandering spirits around you for six seconds. The spirits wander at random enemies, I'm assuming, dealing necrotic damage over time to enemies they pass through. Four spirits are revealed immediately after casting the skill, and 13 more oh, are revealed over the next six seconds. Spirits individually last up to four seconds, but all remaining spirits fade once the reveal duration ends. Interesting. Well, obviously, I've got a spec and summon skeleton. Okay. Just gonna let that let that ride. <laughs> and then I leveled up. How do I get there? I see. That's a lot of numbers. Uh... Yes. Buttons. Definitely going Warlock. I don't blame you. If you were a stat screen that involved skills, K? Not K. How would you op- what is this? Okay, let's not get too distracted so far. Yeah, there are paladins in this game, Kid events. They actually got a new skill, I think, on release or something. But anyway. I would- if I was a warrior, if I had to play one, I definitely go spin to win, which I think is Void Knight. Don't quote me, though. Usually when I was playing Diablo, I'd always end up with a spin to win build, just because it was like... It's kind of like meditative to just right-click and spin through the map. So nice, you know? Where'd you learn to fight? Your mother. Warlocks are great. H. Nope. G. Oh, that's a game guide. That looks very intense. <laughs> it looks like a lot. Let me pick that up, please. You just bought the game now? I have high expectations. I've heard literally nothing but good things. Like, the only bad things I've heard is that the servers were absolute shit uh, on full release. Well, and the graphics were really bad, like, early on. Like, the game struggled quite a bit during its early access phase. This is my new skill, by the way. It's like they're just walking about. But, um... No, don't all games. Speaking of an early access game... Knock on the Coffin Lady got its release date. And it is August 28th of this year. That'll be interesting. They finally settled down on it. Ooh, that's the map. Hmm. Alright. I feel like me accidentally click opening stuff is... It's alarming me. <laughs> Diablo looks different day. I know, right? The 30 billion gold crossbow that disabled Diablo trade... I'm not even surprised town. anymore. My life for ire. Blood for the blood god. I wonder if there, there has to be a blood build, right? Like, there has to be. That's bad. Well done. We're almost there. Look at all the loot. See you ahead. Uh huh. See ya. I don't know what block chance means. Increase minion damage. Okay, yeah, I'll take that. Hold damage. Chance to ignite on hit. That doesn't affect my spells, does it? I'm gonna have to get the filter up and running sooner than I thought. Ah, we'll see. The, the creepers have proven difficult to track, but my observations revealed the truth. Their camps are neither chosen nor abandoned on a whim. 
There's a pattern to how they scurry. A pattern, huh? I instructed my soldiers to investigate the abandoned camps. Invariably, they're near shrines devoted to the eldest of gods. Each one was as empty as the last, save for meager signs of the Keeper's presence. They're not guarding the ruins. They're traveling between them, over and over. They must be moving with them. It'll be as simple as burning these vermin to ash. Raya wills it. Raya wills it. I have dropped zero frames. I'm very impressed. Okay. Fantastic. That was just some lore from the bad guys. Enter the Keeper's Camp. I like how my skeletons die when I go to a new zone and then they're just back. <laughs> They'll just come back. It's fine. Shift and F at the same time to open the loot filter. Okay. Cool. I got experience and gold. Is this another person? It is. Wow. So I guess this is the first town. It's always fun to see other people running around, even though I don't talk to people. I'm just like a total Sounds like the leaders waiting up at the shrine. The keepers have done well. This place isn't too different from home. Who are the keepers exactly, and how do I kill? I mean, help them. A group tied closely with our goddess Etera. They've been indebted to her, but why we do not know. Even their name is. Well, what do they keep? Do they adhere to another god or just her? It's these mysteries that interest the Ospricks. Whatever secrets the keepers hold, I'm sure Raye wants them. Alrighty, what's next? Now, we speak to the Keeper Council. Speaking of, I must head there now. Feel free to look around. I'll see you shortly. Great. Typically, there's not much of a reason to look around town. Or in camp. Unless there's like, a blacksmith or something. What the hell's this? Oh. A teleporter, cool. What are you? You have a brain. Hello, traveler. Oh, you can redo mastery stuff. Okay, fair, cool. This must be a chest. Look at this. You can make an infinite amount of stash tabs. Take that, Diablo. The game doesn't have to load individual stash tabs of everybody. What have you got? Oh shit. My equipping stuff. Ah, that's how I sell stuff. Okay, cool. Do I care about... What is this? A rune. A rune! Way too expensive. I like going fast. I think I could search if there's, like... Just... How do I buy? <laughs> there we go. Just right click. Oh, could I have used that on my appearance? Oh, maybe. Mm, that's fine. It always looks cool for your appearance to grow with you. 9% minion damage. Yeah, I'm in. I do know minion damage is a, f a good stat. Obviously. It's minion damage. Melee void damage. Don't care. Okay. Oh, that seems good to me. I'm satisfied. We're moving on. Right. Look at us. We've grown a little bit. <laughs> what do you want? Keeper Lena is just up ahead. She's busy speaking with the Hale Borean ambassador about the peace talks. Cool. Thank you, Tara. I'll speak with her now. Let's go. What's up? Grail was just telling me of your battle. I am Lena, one of the Keeper's Council. Great. One of two. There should be more of us here. I assume something happened? Yes. Both us and I remain, and he's not here. As such, I must ask for your help. Sure. Both us is busy checking on our sacred artifacts. We're protectors of Atera's history, and right now, they're in danger. What? We do. Even now, 
The Osprix swarm all of our sacred vaults. I've already asked Grail to check one down in the mountains. There is another up north, where Baltus is. Could you make sure he's safe? There's word of a drake patrolling the skies. Sure, I'd love to kill a dragon. And our alliance is secure. We'll lend our aid to heal Boria's army. Great, I have work to do. I was kind of half reading chat there, and someone said thing about the pet doing something. Like picking stuff up. I do have a pet. Yeah, see? Golden Guppy. Adult Chrono Worm. Little fox. We'll keep the fox. We'll see if the fox does something. Is it Lost Ark that they pick up shit for you, or is that BDO? Ah, same game. Both wastes of money. Uh, I guess we're going north. Okay. Is this multiplayer? It is. If you would like it to be. It also has full offline mode if you are not another person enjoyer. So technically, if I stick with this and people enjoy it, um, we could do, like, viewer runs and stuff. You can now use your portal to return to the last visited town. Cool. I never figured out how to open my... You are ambitious, aren't you? I level up thing. If it's not down here in the corner, I don't know how to open it. S? Nope. That was a good guess, though. M is map. Uh-huh. N. Cool. I unlocked a new skill. Hmm. I don't know what that increased damage is for. If it's just for me, I'll take it. There we go. Just, why not? And this can go here. It is a harvest. A melee attack, really, that hits all enemies in the area in front of you, dealing double damage to those who are cursed. Oh, it's the, um... Yeah, this ability. This is in Diablo as well. Wasn't that the meta build or something? In... Not three. Three had that bullshit where you just, like, walk around waiting for the graveyard cooldown. And pull everything to you while being, in, like, invisible. And then... You blow it up with the graveyard. And then you wait 30 more seconds to do it again. <laughs> I think that was the meta build in three. At least that was the last time I played it. I don't know where I'm going. I'm just walking around. Is there a reason to explore? Are there, like, chests or something? Or maybe not later. Until later. Oh, there's something. Death will not take me. Horn will. Ooh, hello. Just eat my blood, no worries. I'm sure that's hygienic. Oh, my skeletons are dying. Unacceptable. How dare you fail me. That one talent was 20 armor and the blue chest piece is 23 armor, so... Yeah. Grant 3% increased stun chance and stun duration. Do I stun people? No. But maybe. Who knows? I don't. The Quill Hog of Death. It's dead. Uh, isn't chat wonderful? This is why I leave it turned on. It just is... It's a special breed of people, you know? It just YOLO chat. Someone's going for the reverse psychology referral thing, where they're like, please don't add me. Refer me or whatever the hell is going on. Still don't know what it's about. Don't carry in there. I'm not sure why Chad is double right now. That's fine. It happens, you know. In order to increase the mastery of my thing, I don't have to press it, do I? I hope not.
Also, my fox is just hanging out, which is cool. I like the fox. More damage. Do we just split? Do we just go like four blood aura, four bone aura? Didasto bones. I imagine the bone aura is like meta, but whatever. Ooh, what's this? Ah, look, we got to level two. What does that mean? Means you got a point. Mana efficiency. Hmm. Have an increased area of effect with melee attacks, and your skeletons deal more damage. That seems good to me. Skeletons have increased attack speed, cast speed, and movement speed. That also seems good to me. Skeleton warriors have more max health, while skeleton rogues and archers deal more damage. That seems good to me as well. I want this. I want to summon more skeletons. What is this? I can add a rogue. They can teleport. Oh, I see. There's... Oh, interesting. Well, I imagine I want the rogue, right? To get more variety going. I know, I probably just want more, right? Skeleton warriors are removed from the pool of skeletons that can be summoned. Weird. You summon more... Some multiple skeletons in a single cast, but summon skeleton cost more mana. Okay. I'm just going to go with this one, probably. Something, something tanky. Cool skeleton models. How was playing the Necromancer game? Not sure, honestly, because we're not there yet. This affects all skeletons, right? Yeah. We'll go here. Just buff all my skeleton types. I am still the base class, the Acolytes. L? Wait, what L? Go all skelly damage? Will AFK farm? <laughs> I am an enjoyer of AFK farming. There is an option if we're having... I don't think we're having stream issues, but if we are having stream issues... Um, there's a special streamer option in the settings, which I thought was incredible. Which basically just changes some of the things to make it easier to encode or something. So if we're having issues, please let me know. But I think everything looks fine on my end. Did I just... What just happened? I don't know. It looked like I leveled. I guess I just keep this spectral thing on cooldown. Like, if it's up, I cast it because it follows me around. You know? <laughs> Go to the Discord then. By the way, you can join my Discord in the description down below. If you're interested. I don't typically play... Oh, hi. Uh, ARPGs. But I am an enjoyer of them. And there are many streams that are going to be happening soon. Because this game came out. Today, Legion X is coming out. Excuse me, Legion 9. I know Roman numerals. And then, um... A patch for Total War. All of them will be streams. <laughs> It'll be great. Ooh. This doesn't really help me. Casting speed, I'm down. But, um... No, I legit think this doesn't help me. This could be spell damage, though, so you know what? I'll take it. We'll see what we can do. Is this a teleporter? It is! Nice. Who are you? There's too many of them. And there are a lot of them. Even though you are a scrub. 
give me your blood. All right. Edge of camp if you're hurt. No, they'll just get stronger over there. They're going to video some old storage. All right. I'll look into it. Is that a side quest? Have I just gotten a side quest? Is this it? Is this the old storage? Oh, I was guessing L for leveling. L is leaderboard. You see that, Blizzard? <laughs> uh, I'm not saying that this entire stream is going to involve me shit-talking them. But a lot of it is. Oh, hey, here's my side quest. I wonder if there's a build that's just about this auto, this blood thing. So I can just, like, you know... Skeletons run around, I AFK right click. We're all happy. Find the siege engineers. Okay, I'm here to help. It'd be great if they came to me, but. You know, if not, it's cool. Hello? Man of Fused Caged Souls of Regrowth. I have no idea what that is, but that's okay. I had trash before, so... I wonder how big this ward is going to be. I've seen a few references to it. And there were a lot of builds in uh, Path of Exile that just had no health and godly amounts of shields or whatever they were called. I wonder if we're in that situation. Well, I'm pretty proud of the skeleton's damage. He's doing well. Making me proud. I kind of wish I could kill the warriors and just have archers. Or, honestly, for me, kill the archers and have warriors. That is a shard of some kind, and I'm getting flashbacks. Attunement shard. What the fuck is this? That? An Aphex Shard augments an item to grant it a new property or improve an existing one. Oh, what? I don't think I have any of the items it can be applied to. You know what? We'll we'll leave that for later. <laughs> that that that'll be a later thing. I still don't know how to open that thing. I have enabled a loot filter I don't have. I was guessing shift C T. Oh, that's the teleport. Clever. Got it. Yeah. Oh, hey, it's another boss. Fucking ow, it's another boss. Okay, this one does not respect me and my authority. Bone curse. I like cursing shit. I like bones. Sabotage the siege golem. All right, let's give our... Fuck, I'm going to get one forbidden knowledge. I have unlocked Hungering Souls. Calls forth five Hungering Souls that seek out enemies. On hit, they deal necrotic damage and then possess the target. Possessed enemies take necrotic damage over time for 1.5 seconds. Enemies cannot be possessed by multiple souls at once. I love a, I love damage over time effects. Bone Curse. Apply a curse to enemies in an area for 8 seconds that causes physical damage when hit. The damage is tripled if you inflict the hit yourself. Huh. Okay. I'm going to try this Hungering Soul stuff. Oh, this thing. Look at me, I'm so good at sabotaging. It just fell apart. It's very existence decimated. 
eradicated. Uh -huh. Hey, you managed to move. I'm so proud of you. They're gone. I should thank Restwell in death. I got a passive point. But maybe it's P for passive. It's P for passive! <laughs> I found it! Did I summon the thing? I don't think I did. Alright, P for passive. Stolen vitality. Each point of vitality grants 6 health and 1% poison and necrotic resistance. This also increases my minion health. Very cool. Dark Ritual. Your minions have increased attack and cast speed. This bonus also applies to you if you have used a minion skill in the last 10 seconds. Interesting. Uh, whenever a nearby enemy, ally, or minion dies, you have a 10% chance to gain a ward. That's probably really good later on. If I had to guess. Connection. What? Okay. That's fine. We'll keep on keeping on. Oh, I have a point somewhere. Okay. We saw the little skeletons doing stuff. Oh, well, that's what the curse looks like. Cool. Get a little golem going. Oh, well, there's more storerooms. Are there more quests involved with it? Okay, so curse management seems important. That's fair. It often is when it comes to necromancers. Storerooms. Didn't I... Or is this where I came from? Can I re-enter this? This is where I came from. Yes. Am I back? Are we back? We're so back. Do I want to be back? Not really. Let's get out of here. Just skedaddle. It actually likely means the horizontal lines are requirements if you want those skills later on. Probably. Although it said connection requires one point. Maybe I have to put a point in it? What even is this skill? You deal increased damage, but you lose a percentage of your max health each second you have killed an enemy recently. Oh. Huh. That seems a little suspicious. Perhaps it's good. Perhaps it's not. I'm just saying it's suspicious. Gotta stop. I love stops. Spell damage and reduced spell mana costs? Sure. Okay, let's head towards this quest finally. Yep, I know you're dying. You should just get out of here, but... You know, you do you. Who am I to tell a dying man what to do? I wonder if the specters trigger the blood curse every time it pops. Kinda looks like it? Hello! Keeper Lena sent me. Keeper Balthus is inside protecting the shard. The Ospricks won't be able to pass through the inner door without a symbol of a terror, but they'll break it down before long. I'll take him out. Here, I hid the symbol from them. They left me alone thinking I was already dead. Take it. It will unlock the door to the shard chamber. Please help Balthazar. <laughs> His name is Balthus, but he's Balthazar now. Okay. Oh. 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 I get it now. You don't have to put a point to the connection. It's just telling you how many points you need in the thing to get to the thing. So now I can make more skeletons. So I technically do need to put all these points in here. Kind of overdid it. That's fine. Crimson Gluttony. You and your minions have increased health regen and effects that drain a percentage of your health drain less health. Weird. 
Ethereal Revenant. Huh. There's the Bone Daddy. I found the Bone Daddy. We're on the way, Bone Daddy. <laughs> We're on the way. I'm coming for you. You're sensing Hind vibes. We use HP to do big damage and heal it up from skills. I know, right? Best boy Hind is here. Is it suspicious that the only shrine I found so far is a stunning shrine? It feels suspicious. Hello! Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. I'm doing big deeps now. Proud of my deeps so far. Added armor shard. Huh. Once I deciphered the keeper's movements, the vaults were easy to find. Exploring them proved more challenging. Ancient stonework that could inspire even the greatest of Solarum's architects. Nearly impenetrable. Between my engineer's finest munitions and the strength of my pet, we managed to crack one open. Only to find empty halls and vacant chambers. What would be the purpose of such a stronghold if it were to house nothing? Yet I could tell they were here, just as I predicted. They were guarding something of immense importance, something powerful. Raya will be pleased. Okay. I'm a little concerned about the pet that he mentioned. Intelligence? Oh, interesting. That's fine. Plus three potion slots. Huh. Hmm. Augment time to create. I have. I think I'm just gonna throw all those in the vault for now until I understand how that works. But uh, yeah, screw the shield. I have a book now. This way. And everyone knows the pen is mightier than the you sword. Help. Your big slave. Protect the sword. They're coming. Tread carefully. I feel like I should mention, uh, ARPGs are usually not known for their story, so if this was cliché to you, uh, that's because of this. Story is usually not the strong point. It's the loot and the build making and the funsies. But I always go through the story once myself, so I figured I'd share that adventure with you all. To be fair, I did kind of like the story in Diablo. I just wish we didn't kill Lilith. Spoiler alert. I feel like we totally could have been friends. Where'd you go? Come back here. No, don't run away. Uh oh. That's ah, fine. I did like no damage. Can I stack those? It is unsafe. We'll reconvene outside. You're unsafe. That should hold them. First things first. Thank you. The Ospics grow more troublesome by the day. We've reinforced our walls, supplied our men, and taken out dozens of them. Yet, they're still here. Using brute force now. Through their Drake? The howling monster circling the vault. Yes. So, I see you lack keeper's robes. I take it Lena sent you. She did indeed. Lovely. While your help has been appreciated, I have everything under control. I don't think you do. What are you doing here? What do you mean? I'm protecting the Epoch, of course. What is this place? Here. It's a fortress, meant to keep unruly treasure hunters from locating the shards of the Epoch. Or at least it's supposed to. Drastic times. Shards of the Epoch? Did Lena not tell you? No, nope, I know nothing. <laughs> well, tell you what. Let's get out of here first, and then I'll explain more. These peace talks are hardly worth it if you don't know why Orion is after us. Alright. Oh, are you gonna follow me? Give me a second, let me check my loot. I don't see anything potentially good. 
Plus one to Wandering Spirit and 12% spell damage, though. That might be good. Yeah, I'm just going to keep the Intelligence and Armor. It's fine. It's really not that big of a deal right now. 100% critical strike chance. Now we're talking. Now we're now we're gaming. Oh, should we have more lore? The keepers fall. We've held the same rituals, instructed to keep the epoch shard separate. Those were Itera's words. The first epoch shard is held in a fortress. My shrine buff. Ancient Iteran mechanisms hold it in place with no one but us knowing how to enter. The second vault is deep inside the Stonefall Mountains, with traps that only the Keepers know how to maneuver. The third shard is always on the move. It uses multiple vaults. Only we possess the knowledge to open them. This is why we never call a single place home. Just in time for my buff to wear out. <laughs> I could have ignored that, but, you know, whatever, it's fine. Lore is lore. Dungeon Siege 3 was a slightly above average story for, uh, Air Pages. I don't think I ever played that one. I also kind of enjoyed the, um, the Lost Ark story. That was fun, but it was because it was so freaking over the top. I enjoyed my, um, we're not even playing. Sorceress thing. I was gonna play a summoner in that game, but that, of course, fell through on the NA version. I did the first raid, I think. Raid thing. Then I quit. I didn't give a shit. And I couldn't be arsed to spend money that I didn't have, so. You know, can't uh, play a pay to win game. Ooh, I got another skill spec. What do we want to spec in? Can I spec in my blood rip? Can I like rip and tear better? Oh, hold on. Ah, uh, which one wasn't? No, no. There we go. I can rip and tear better. Do I want to rip and tear better? I am using my marrow shots a lot. When you are out of mana, rip blood is free. The blood is increased, casting speed leaves a stench on the target enemy that causes your minions to prioritize attacking it. Oh, that's cool. Pretty fun. Rip blood has a significantly higher chance to make a blood spell splatter but cost more mana. What is a blood splatter? Uh hitting or killing an enemy with blood splatter does not count as hitting or killing an enemy with rip blood. If you have more than hundred percent chance to cause rip splatter you can cause blood What? Oh, blood splatter is a physical spell dealing damage to other enemies around the target. Oh it gives me AoE, wow. I mean Yes do I say no to free AOE? Sure. Do I need this one as well? Rip blood hits have a chance to create a blood spider at the target, dealing damage to other enemies around it, but not the original. Do I need splatter? No, okay. Alright, well. Oh, point. Point, point. Alright, we're coming for the bone daddy. Um. More, more pet damage. Down for pet damage. Pet damage seems good. I like the new visual effect I've got going. The sass of evasion. Sash of evasion. Oh no, my inventory's almost full. 
Whatever do I do? Health on kill. Hmm. Typically speaking, it is a better idea. I think I can town portal. Like, we're in the middle of a crisis and I... Interesting. Did I bug the game out? Nope. <laughs> cool, we're just loading. Um... Awesome train of thought after doing that. I'm in the middle of a crisis and I can just TP out. No big deal. I don't care. Yeah, thank you. I'm just here to sell shit. Increase spell damage. What is this going over? Oh, interesting. Alright, well, let's sell everything. Anything not a shard is being sold. That's how this works. Uh, the Glyph of Chaos. Crafting thing. That's all I heard. Man, eh, sure. I think I want to keep this. The book I definitely want to replace, though. All right. Looking good, team. Increased critical strike chance. And then here's a box. And in the box, I'm going to throw anything I don't understand. It involves crafting. Crafting is very important. Probably. I don't know. No, all caps. Why do I need to match make? Hmm. One day I'll teleport back in. Could always go back to offline mode. I just didn't know if there was like a problem. Because typically when games have offline modes... Like this, people use the offline mode to cheat. So I didn't know if um, there'd be like an issue between. Thank you, <laughs> connecting the offline and online characters. You know. Hmm. Came back to a little bit of a shit show. I like my build so far though, because we got the curse going right. And then we just right-click for AoE while our skeletons clean shit up. I wonder where the guy went. The guy is gone. Oh, well. He's a story character. I'm sure he'll be fine. That's how it works. Story characters have plot armor. Don't you know? The Death Refuge Ass Axe. Of wounds. Do I have a hat? I do have a hat. Not a great hat, but it's a hat. Hello. Ooh, we got more lore. Let me ask, for how long must we live like this? Hmm. No one cared about the shards until recently. Until Raya. For now, it's just him. But how much longer until Lagan seeks them out? Majasa, we uphold customs, as Itera willed. But our goddess is gone. If she knew the state of the world, would she not request us to act? To bring peace back between her children? We cannot keep the old ways. The council is scared, but nothing will change if we do not change. Hey, he's on to something. The Keeper's Contingency. Oh. It's loot. I love loot. I'm glad I cleared my bags just a couple seconds ago. Hey, Gorg Zelda. I mean, you, uh, heard and read a lot of conflicting stuff about this one. Some say it's awesome. Some say it's mid. Well, 
you can't really judge it. Okay, this sounds awful, right? But it's hard to judge an ARPG until you get to the end game. Because that's where these games, like, thrive. But I mean, so far... I've had fun. I'm not very far in it. I've also never played before. I think it's cool. I'm not really playing a character that, like, zips through stuff. Which, of course, is what all sweats play. But, I'm um, just bing chilling, you know? That's what these games are to me. Ways to bing chill. So I usually play minion builds where I can do nothing, or, uh, spin to win builds where I just right-click and laugh. I'm sure you have questions, but let me first check and make sure the epoch's safe. Oh, he's like, you're here now. Congratulations. Hello. Good. No. Oh, are you going to die, Deckard? Yep. Bye, Deckard. Hmm? Balthus, what just happened? At ease, who was that? That was Orion, an Auspex general. We've seen him up in their camp, but never like this. It looks like they went toward the Highlands, where the Auspex are based, but there's too many. It's no use. I'll handle it. You'll want. Go back to camp. I've got this. Return to Keeper's camp and speak with Keeper Lena. Okay. Fine. And best armor is called plot, which is why we always look at chess, because we appreciate how beautiful the craftsmanship of the armor is. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, so it looks like all teleporters is taking time. There is a... Do I still have it up? No. There's a thread they have going on their... their forum. I signed into. Uh, the most recent update is fairly stable, but transition times are still somewhat longer than expected. Indeed they are. <laughs> Indeed they are. Is this a side quest again? It's Hera's blessing. Pardon, if it is not too much trouble, I caught word of some of our soldiers getting lost in the islands. Scrubs. It includes my niece. She's no fighter like me. All she wants is to tend to the gardens, but... Desperate times. I'll find her, whatever. I'm just, just worried, you know. Islands are Osprey's territory right now. They were over to scout, but if you find her, please let me know how she's doing. Oh, I found a mage helmet. Ridiculous. 46 ward gain when damage leaves you at low health. Chance to slow attackers. Sure. Whatever. Increase minion damage. I changed my mind. No whatever. Increased physical damage. Increased mana regeneration. Doesn't this do physical damage? Yes. I love these little tags here. That's very good. Prayers be with you. Hello, grabbed by a drake. I'm planning on saving him if you would let me trade with you. I could put this in my vault if I want to make a mage, couldn't I? Hmm, I could. Do I care that much, though? I don't think I do. Right. I could. Hmm. It's hard to say. Hello. Everything okay? Where's Balthus? Ah, he was kidnapped. What? What happened? A giant drake came in and grabbed them. I've seen bigger drakes. That must be Orion. If he captured Balthus, he's in danger. So who's Orion? An Osprey general. He's the one leading the hunt for us. What happened to the artifacts Balthus was protecting? It was taken along with Balthus. That must be what they were after. We have to save Balthus. Get him and the Epoch back. Do you know when they would go? Also, no one ever explained this Epoch to me. Their camp is not far. I'll have to organize a group. Go after him. Then allow me. Are you sure? I could gather soldiers. Have them come with you. It's faster if I go alone. Trust me. You'll walk into an entire army of Ospricks. I got this. Stay safe. Stay alive. And bring Balthus back. Sure thing. I'm gonna go fuck him up. We level up. 
And I'm just going to get Forbidden Knowledge. There we go. Imps are primary skill, you know. You can respec this stuff kind of at will, I think. Where's my next minion marrow walker thing? Here? Yeah, grave walker. Um is there another one? Yeah. Let's go here. We'll go here, and we'll get uh, more skeletons. I love skeletons. <laughs> oh, hey, here's that pathway that they wouldn't let me take earlier. On a related note, I know it's been asked a hundred times already, but have you seen the new Elden Ring DLC trailer? I have, yes. Awesome stuff, though. $40 is a bit pricey. Amount. Honestly, it feels more like an expansion than... um. A DLC. Which may be able to justify its $40 price tag. But of course it's Elden Ring, of course I'm gonna fork now. I like a stunning shrine. I'm just waiting. I mean, you know, it's three months out, so I don't have to, you don't have to buy it. Or I don't have to buy it now, but I'm waiting to see how much the Legion 9 Thing is, did they say? I feel like they didn't, but I wouldn't be surprised if that was like twenty to thirty dollars either. And that's releasing in a couple of hours, so that's on my immediate priority. Add melee cold damage shard. Interesting. The glyph of hope. Hope is an illusion. Oh, hey. It's a yellow wand. Increase spell damage. Yep. I'm good. Click that. Satisfied. <laughs> hey, guys. I have no friends. I know, right? Common problem of any. The Imbued Brass Scepter of Conflagration. I wonder if there's a reason to pick up items in this game. Like, can you break them down for glyphs or something? Like, if you don't need the item, you just not pick it up. I'll have to get back into that habit from PoE. I remember having, like, the most aggressive loot builder in PoE and just, like, rolling my eyes at everything that dropped. Good times. I played like the, what was it, the Spell Thief or something? So I needed like weird items and I just... What the hell's going on over there? Transplant! Oh, I think I want that on my bar. That sounds like a good thing. No one has ever heard of transplants going awry. I guess. Ah, yes. We can rip and tear some more. I mean, I guess this is... Excuse me, this is my AoE, so... We'll level it up as such. Okay, transplant. The Bone Golem. Summons a Bone Golem, which attacks slowly, but has a 50% chance to retaliate with Bone Shatter when hit. Okay. So, the skeletons are cool and all. Gonna bring out the bone, daddy. Creates a new body for you at a target location. Then detonates your own body to deal physical damage to enemies around it. Instead of mana, 13% of your current health is consumed. So, is this a teleport? Is this a... Yep. I love teleport. The bone, daddy! You'll have to see it. Isn't he beautiful? My god, this is a proper bone golem. Oh, the bone daddy. I've missed you. All right. We've won the game. Time to just sit back, relax. Have some fun.
<laughs> Necrobouncy exists. Fableheim. Neurons activate. Yep. Ah, we've done it, team. We've won. I'm satisfied. A day's hard work complete. It was a trap! The Osprex used us as bait. Set out a decision with the plan to ambush anyone who... Rest now. I already know. I'm happy. I thought the Bone Daddy was like a late game Necromancer spell, and I was going to be sitting here wanting it and talking about it, but here we are. Hmm. I'm not even attacking. I don't need to. I don't need to play the game anymore. Oh yeah, it's Elden Ring. If this DLC was $60, I'd still buy it. I have me too, yeah. Although you would have bitched and moaned about it a bit more. I did the same thing with uh, with Total War. With Warhammer. I own every DLC for that game. But the amount of bitching and moaning that I have made about it has increased. I'm excited to see what they do to try and like redeem themselves. I've heard good things about the... The Kislev additions to the DLC. Because uh, some content creators got their hands on it early. And the embargo lifted yesterday. Of course, I am not one of those people. But it's okay. I don't care. I'll get around to it when I get around to it. You know? The Osprix War Camp. We're entering it, don't worry. My bar feels weird. But I don't know how to make it better. I think in the future... Am I- do I just not use Blood Rip? Like, really endgame builds tend not to have, like, an attack. They just have, like, buffs and escapes and their- their big cooldowns or whatever on their bars. Go on, Bone Daddy. Crush him. Crush him, Bone Daddy. I saw the word Pyromancer and my eyes glazed over. All I need is the Bone Daddy. <laughs> I need to find a high resolution image of the Bone Daddy and just put it on the next one. <laughs> oh, you know what? I should probably, um. Go back and turn in this quest. There may be a new one. Let's try and be a little efficient, shall we? Even though now I'm going to have to load even more. That one was kind of fast. Respect, respect. If you had a hold shift to open second bar for quick skills, that'd be ideal. Yeah, I know, right? The terror's blessing. The distress call in the highlands turned out to be a trap. What? But we... I spoke with one. Have they returned? They have not. Well, they're dead. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you for checking in. I must recover their bodies. Here for your troubles. It isn't much. Blah, 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 blah. Prayers be with you. Thank you. I'm going to keep this loadout for now. But we all know what's coming in. Next. The Bone Daddy. You gave me a point, right? Ow. You did not. Alright, fine. Fuck you. Just make sure my inventory is clean. Ah, da -da 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 -da. That's a defensive ring. Wow, I wonder what that looks what that's like. I like going fast, sure. 
increased minion health. Nah, who needs that? Just kill everything, Forehead. Duh. That's all you need to do. Hmm. I was grabbed for a drink. Yes, I know. It sure is wild, isn't it? I'm just selling everything. I don't care. If I do make another character, I'll just find shit. I wonder if those things stack. I wonder if there's a special inventory for... Those. There wasn't, um, POE. POE's free, but, like, you you could not play the game efficiently if you didn't buy their, like, $35 stash tab thing. So the game was basically $35 if you actually wanted to play the game. And they had, like, these specialized stash tabs for all of their, like, seasonal crafting or consumable shit. And it's giving me, like, nightmarish flashbacks. You can pull Bonetti off the quick bar. He stays summoned, right? Uh, no. I do not believe so. Because the Bone Daddy, the button... Well, I mean, I could try it. Heretical though it be, I can try it. Alright, Bone Daddy, give me a second. Uh, we'll call him that. Yeah, the Bone Daddy goes away. So good trying, good try. Alright, how sweatily can we play the game? If we're gonna be real sweaty about this, then here's how we do it. You ready? You ready for the ARPG sweat? Oh, it's coming back. Look at that Bone Daddy slam. Basically, the way I recall was... Basically, you just teleport around the map looking for, like, named mobs or tags. And then when you find it, you kill everything that followed you. And then you just repeat. The ultimate. The ultimate sweat. Good god, the Bone Daddy. Mm. Makes me want to put all my talents into minion damage. Hey, like, look at this guy. Yeah. And now that we got his loot... We move on. We curse. The Bone Daddy punches. Mm. I'm into this. This is doing something for me. Something dirty. So yeah, that's how you play this game with Swint. Well, all our RPGs are Swint. I mean... Do you think this increased damage affects my pets as well? It wouldn't, right? I'm gonna put one point in this so I have a connection to Crimson Gluttony so my health reach my pets regen. Because there's nothing worse than a bone daddy that dies because you did you disrespected them, you know? You gotta give them what they need. You can't just be selfish. The bone daddy is a person too. <laughs> I wonder if that counts for a kill. I think it does. Hmm. It could be worth it, yeah. It's always worth a shot. Hey, look, there's I lore. I still feel the flame searing across me, stealing my wing and my eye. Yet, I saw it. The flames of prophecy revealed that these rats hid a treasure, one far more powerful than anyone could conceive. Every trinket I've gathered has been a step closer to this moment. The Epoch will be the pinnacle of my collection. When I present this to Raya, this power, he will finally understand how worthy I am, what I have sacrificed, all for him. Question. Do I even need the skeletons if I have the Bone Daddy? I 
kind of think the answer is no. Oh, look, boss fight. Sure. Reaching me was impressive, but it's mine. Call member wing. Mm hmm. All right, skeletons, prove your worth. I'm about to judge the shit out of you. Okay, I can't stack this. Unfortunate. But it is what it is. That looked painful. Well, well. Make sure my curse stays up. That's fire. I lost the skeletons. Bring them back. I wonder why my bar is glowing for the bone daddy in the transplant. Oh, gotta put my curse back up. Can't forget that. Gotta make sure the bone daddy's doing more. Oh, I lost two skeletons. But the bone daddy is strong. He got the bone daddy to 50% health. Look at that trash. I don't think I care about any of this. I don't understand a lot of these, um, minion health. <laughs> I don't understand a lot of these apexes yet. Minion health? I mean, someone's got to have defense, and if it's not me, it should be my pet, you know? You know? What are my current gloves? Minion damage. I'll take the health, though. They can't have the Bone Daddy die. The Bone Daddy's not allowed to die. Which gives me dex. Do I use dex at all? I know in... What was the button? In some games, you can still use the other class's stats for stuff. Each point of dexterity adds four dodge rating and improved skills that rely on a skillful handling of weapons. Sounds a lot like no, if you ask me. What's going on here? Minimum skill level dictates how many skill points your skills start with when you specialize in them and how many skill points will be retained when de-leveling a skill. Oh. How do I de-level them? As you level up, your minimum uh, skill level will also increase periodically. Okay. Cool. I have a point. If I... Oh. Uh, remove spent points in your choosing in the skill tree. Each point removed will reduce the skill level by one if above your skills minimum level. Despecializing will remove all skill points and experience from the skill and allow you to specialize in another skill in its place. The new skill will start at your minimum skill level. Eh. This exists to do my AoE damage for me, right? So. Oh, hey. Right, you're. I was here for you. My knees. Such large creatures, those hospitals. Or build a tiny cage. You okay, bud? I will be, thanks to you. Let me just grab these. There. The shards of the epoch are safe. I was worried for a moment. <laughs> Remember the Bone Daddy is people too. Well, technically, the Bone Daddy is multiple people, so it's even better. True. Uh, anyway, you mentioned the epoch thing before. What is it? The epoch. Oh, it's a Terra's most sacred artifact, holding great power. Oh, casual, casual. Power to travel through time. What now? If Raya were to get his talons on it, he would surely win the war. More than that, he'd be untouchable. So what now? Now, I find a new course of action. Take the Epoch somewhere Raya can't reach. I mean, you know... He wasn't even able to kill my bone golem, so he can't kill me. Which, speaking of, let's head back to camp. I must reach Lena at once. All right, get to work. There's lore on the floor, but let's just let's just go back to town. In fact, can I start reading this while loading? I myself to nope. find suitable provisions for Emberwing. Pray in this area, upset. Oh yeah, if I have room, I might as well pick stuff up because I can just vendor it. That's right. You are correct. I can also take this stuff and like throw it in my vault for any other character I want to make, you know? Are you the... Who's the armor merchant here? I've already forgotten. Is it you? It's you. 
increased cold damage. I feel like at this point I should just hoard these things so that they stack in my inventory. Right. Do they even stack? I don't know. <laughs> it's fine, just keep them there. Hello, I did your quests. He's back. And it's all thanks to you. Really is thanks to the bone daddy. I was just a witness to it. He's been quiet since he returned. If you could speak with him, I'd be grateful. Then we can begin our talks. Alright. Scarecell might be worth it if you had a rogue upgrade, if you wanted more damage, but having multiple big HP pool moment to face tank could be worth it. Yeah, I like the fact that I'm not being touched at all. You're back. <laughs> sure I am. Now we must protect the Epoch. Find a way Soraya won't get to them. Does he know about their power? Not fully. Itera left their secrets to us and to us alone. So, what is your plan? I have uh Ideas. Though Lena will disagree. Hopefully it involves blood. Well, we are keepers after all. Protectors of Itera's past. Collectors of lost history. You sound almost sad. Do you think we've made a mistake? Pardon? Going through the motions. Keeping the shards hidden. It's it's, it's all been ritual. I feel as though drastic times are upon us. It might be time, yes. Uh, no. You know about them, too. Fate has already shown its hand. I apologize. You might become part of something greater. What do you mean? I only have two shards, but that's enough. I'll keep them safe. Lena, I'm sorry. What you doing? I'm sorry to you, too. This is what's best for us all. With the Epoch's power, I'll finally be able to... Ah. Okay. I mean, sure. Why not? Just, just drag us into the unknown. Don't explain anything. It appears to be one of the shards of the Epoch that Balthus has. It looks like it has only been here as long as you have. Balthus and the other shard are nowhere in sight. Yoink! Mine now, bitch. <laughs> I wonder how important gold is in the future. I mean, you can use gold to buy, um... Stash tabs. That's kind of important. I like how there's a teleporter here. Very cool. Oops, I'm sorry, Bone Daddy. At least you came back to me. How? Where? What just happened? I teleported. This place is fascinating. The void Different, despair. Somehow the same. That's the trick to writing something eerie, by the way. You make something familiar that's just ever so slightly out of place. And that's that's how you make something eerie. Pro tip. Writing lessons with Fabe. I wish I could have two bone daddies. Can I have more than one Bone Daddy? I accept spoilers for the Bone Daddy. <laughs> it feels like it'd be too strong. Hello. You're glowing. What? You thought you could keep me down? No. Oh. Let me try. Hello. Who are you? Where is here? Don't play dumb. Only rangers and elders are allowed out here. Everyone knows that. Still, you don't look like a cultist. I mean, I kind of am. Uh, but anyway, cultists, what are you talking about? The way void leeches off of them. My scrying would be going off the second I saw you. That's not to say there aren't any cultists nearby, so let's both be careful. Come, I'll take you back to last refuge. The void? What are you talking about? 
Are you well in the head? Look around you. Dark tar that consumes everything around us. The void. Last refuge is the only place to steer clear of it. If you're not from there, then let's hope our elders don't find any corruption on you, eh? Okay, sure. Again, there is corruption at hands. Just, I guess, a different kinds. I saw an enemy crawling up. We just peaced out. Oh, hey, look, he followed me. That was nice of him. He wanted to be a part of the Bone Daddy's future, too. Yes, yes, with her. I'm level 11. What do we got? Hmm, minion health. Sure. Oh, hey, this must be the place. Terra, watch over you. You there. I don't recognize you. A guard sent me. I come from outside. Still, you have the presence about you as if... Hmm. Hmm. Do you have a shard on you? It's a long story. I'm protecting it. Protecting it? We need it to protect us. I will get to the bottom of how and why you have it later. What's important is that we present this to the council immediately. Whether our wards have fallen by a shard misplaced or you're simply the foretold holder we've heard so much about, we must find out. Foretold holder... Yes, it's a long story. Thanks for throwing my words back at me. For now, find God Captain Bravon in the city. He will ensure you're presented to the rest of the elders. Who are they? You're ready to come around here. We uphold the council, the leadership of the Last Refuge. Okay, why don't you take it to him? Well, I'm in no shape to go back there. I do not want to face the void along the way. Anyway, enough talk. Okay. Is that really what was in the way? Just a, a few peasants? He shoved you into the DeLorean. I know, right? Who are you? Mm -hmm. I hope you had your conversation with Elder Burra, and it looks like you're heading to the council chambers. They'll oh, well. take good care of you. Sure. Whatever. Okay. Yes. If you're not fighting off the void, you need to go back to the surface. Lost Refuge is falling. I need to get to the council chambers. What? The council chambers are at the city center. All right, don't get in my way. Very well. Since you're heading out, I grow worried that Elder Urza is trapped inside. If you find him, try talking with him. He is persistent, but overestimates himself. Okay. Gods be with you. 1290 AG. Does you remember what the year was in the other place? Was it like 12? Did I go a thousand years in the future? Minimus. Minimus. What? Oh. You've fought them off. Too late for me, but there are others trapped in the outskirts. Please help them. Thank you. Wicked, the rest of my regiment are trapped just past the bridge ahead. We tried to save Grund, but he's still defending his damn beasts. Elder Mossburn was escorting group as well, but they got separated from us. Once you found them, find Captain Leora in the council chambers. As for me, Captain Bravan will take care of Minimus, even if he has to drag the mutt away from my body. Aww. Little puppy. Okay. The Bone Daddy will keep me safe. Oh. Huh. Oh, I was like, what are you smashing? Oh, that's creepy. Those are friendly. My bad. Where are you going? I'm here to help hmm? requests. I'm here to relay orders to evacuate. Farewell. Flee, flee the city. You're dying. Do you know that? I don't know where this quest is taking me. Oh, well, well, sucks to suck, bro. You know what I need? Cooldown reduction. From, um, my teleport. Your death has come. Void fused bats. 
Yeah, I thought I'd seen the worst of him. Just kidding, it can always get worse. I know that. Oh, I can't teleport through that. Oh. Your beasts have gone mad. Again, sucks to suck, but... I'll help you I can. For money. Think I fixed it all? Might be an upgrade if you focus on it, like how the skeletons have bonus summons. Maybe. This is for the double bone daddy. That'd be cool. I hope. I imagine I'm going to have to fight those things. I was going to say, I hope I don't have to, but I bet I'm going to. Look at you, scrub, dying to bats. I haven't died to bats since Elden Ring. Hello. What brings you here? I cleared a path. Get out of here. You must be the guy who will who won't leave his bloody beasts or something. Is it tab? It's tab that opens up the bigger map. Okay. I got a treasure chest. My first treasure. Well, I guess second treasure chest. This zone has been full of treasure chests. We're halfway. To filling up my inventory with crap. Hey, that guy's special mark over his head. There was a thing where my pets would attack the person I hit with my rip blood, right? If I keep specking it or something. Let's go, Bone Daddy. Oh, look at him. He came in with that tackle to save me. You'll love to see it. I have maxed out my pet damage. It's beautiful. Alright, Skeleton. Where are we going? We're going here. Soon. And Drip Blood can expand. Blood Spatter deals more damage, multiple of the modifiers, and have a chance to stun enemies. Oh. Interesting. Blood Spatter grants your minions blood infusion when it hits them. Yes. Because that'll hit the Bone Daddy, and he'll be blood infused, which will do something. Blood infusion grants 15% more damage for 4 seconds. That's what we'll do. We'll buff the Bone Daddy while I rip the blood from my foes. What more could you want? A perfect combination. If you spec the port, it could be nutty. I agree. Oh, hey, this is that elder guy. Only a little longer. But, you know, I'm a pet build, so I gotta spec my minions first. Your death has come. Throwing damage and reduced mana cost shard. That's a hell of a name. Keep them off me. I'm trying, bro. I can only rip and tear so much. And by I, I mean the Bone Daddy. Only a little longer. Look at him. He's unkillable. Impressive. Go on. I'll be right behind you. I know it's impressive. Oh, I gotta go find the other guy. So, you know. I'm not done yet. Hold on. I wasn't ready to be at the end. I wasn't aware we were at the end. I see a chest. Full of garbage. We're looking for Elder Mossburn. Worthless. I that is too much. Oh. The Defiled Bones of Life. Eh. Life is a disease. Did I go back in time? 
Ah, I did. It eludes me. Okay. Cool. Hmm. Alrighty. What are we looking at? I'm pretty sure all of this is just an instant toss. I mean, physical resist isn't bad. All right, I'll wear this. Increased damage over time. I don't do that. I do pet stuff. More increased damage over time. Like I said, I don't do that. There is so much increased... Wow. But, uh, no. Enter that. Enter that. Increase necrotic damage. Oh. Ward gain on potion. Yeah, sure. It kind of sucks to get rid of a thing that gives me, um, that damage. It's fine. It's totally fine. You know, I could make a, um, a loot filter that literally just has, I think, couldn't I do one that just says highlights at damage or something? Hold on, let's, let's take a look at this, shall we? So we can create new filter. We'll just call this the pet filter. I see pet stats. We'll give it a skull. Uh, yeah, blue, sure. So the pet filter. Add rule. Uh, add condition. Affix. Pets. Uh, pets. All attributes, really? Offensive. Where would this be? General. Damage type. Uh. Is this called penetration and minion? There's a minion penetration? Oh, God. Hmm. Minion, here we go. Let's go minion. Cool. Show. Show it in this blue color. There we go. Emphasize. Yes. Cool. I think we did it. There was a button I pressed to disable this. But it is active. Okay. So now it'll it'll screw the item will like pop out if it has anything to do with minions. You love to see it. You definitely want to spec the port though. Wait, does get oh. Fine. We're cool. We're chilling. And we're heading out. Just curse everything. It's fine. I have to go all the way around again. Hmm. I hate to say it. I told you we stop for bosses, and then we let me pick that up, please. And then we uh, teleport our way through. This is efficiency, team. Don't hate the player, hate the game. Let's go, Bone Daddy. Oh, look at him. 
Wow, that was a lot of gear. Pull the lever, crunk. That's a chest. Strength shard. Okay, I'll take it. We leveled up. And I mean, I might as well get one bone aura, right? We might as well. It can't hurt. Get rid of the ad. I say ad, it's a boss. Holy shit, that hurt. Look at that. Look at how big and bold it is. Increases my minion health. You love to see it. Didn't I just get a new chest or thing? I did. Cool. Bone Daddy, you know I'm all about you. Help me on this way. We got a new minion thing as well. New specializations. We got the blood infusion. And, um, more skeletons. Boom. Just what we needed. More. Hello, guys. How's it hanging? Yes. By the dead gods, we've got to get out of- Oh, wrong person. With you. The void is tearing Last Refuge apart. We try and fleeing, but all this destruction has turned this place into a maze. I've doomed the people who trusted me to lead them out. I've cleared a path. Try Please, not to you craven dogs. Report the successful evacuation to Captain Leora in the council chambers. Cool. Alright. Now I make the great exodus back. Wrong lever! His motto is, who needs a sugar daddy when you have a bone daddy? It's true as well. It still brings me exceptional sadness that they changed the name of the bone daddy in Age of Wonders. They changed the name, and then they had the audacity to buff it. Like, how couldn't you just buff the Bone Daddy? Hmm? What's wrong with the Bone Daddy? Oh, hey, I missed a boss. That happens when you're going fast. You know? You're bound to miss shit. Like this. Was that good? Mm -hmm. It was gold. It's good enough for some people. I'm assuming there are loot filters for crafting as well. Because I'm picking up all these random shards. <laughs> I don't think I'm be able to do anything with. We're just here. Alright. Holding X temporarily shows items hidden by the loot filter. Oh, okay. That's what it does. Alright, we're here. There are so many quests here. What the fuck? Hmm. Who are you? Did you come from the last refuge outskirts? So you help with the evacuation. We are in your debt. We may need more of your radiance. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't have any. Uh, miss me with that shit. All right, let's get dark rituals. Boom. I now have spirit plague. Do we care about spirit plague? What is spirit plague? Curses a target with a powerful necrotic damage over a time effect, which lasts three seconds. Spreads to a single nearby target on target death. Well, that was an ability in, um... Diablo 3. Hmm. I with see. With the witch doctor. Hey there. Want to try I enjoyed playing the witch doctor. You there. May I catch your ear for a moment? Or if you're feeling lucky, would you like to gamble? Yes. I couldn't jump it over here. This chamber just echoes like mad. I have no idea how the stuffy elders do business in here, but I hear you've met Urza. 
I would like to present you with an offer. Okay. Fantastic. I knew you had a head on your shoulder the moment you walked in here. You see, that ledger of his has information about me. I would very much like to disappear, if you catch my meaning. What would you think of the ledger of his say made its way to me? Okay. Splendid. Trust me. Treasure, my friend. What? Oh, what? Huh. Is this guy? He's gambling. Does that help me in any way? He's a gambler. That's a lot of spell damage. Wait, is it? No, it's not. It's deceptive. Deceiver. What's attunement? Each point of attunement grants two mana and improves skills that rely on the innate magic inside of you and your surroundings. Nope. Nope. <gasps> Increase minion damage. Increase minion health? This is perfect. I'm so glad I came back and picked that up. Holy shit. I have so many of these. So these are basically complete so I, I buy this, and then what? It just YOLO identifies itself? Not bad. Huh. One more. Darn it. Maybe it'll help you along the way. Hmm. I mean, ward per second could be good. And it's more intelligence. It is. Ah, I'll keep the book. It's fine. What a waste. What a tragedy. All right, what you got? Oh, I know you. Why you're here, and I will accept your thanks by allowing you to repay me with a favor. I'm sorry. What? I know this looks grim, but we have to keep hope. You must believe that we'll survive this. That I will survive this. I suddenly feel okay about seeing this ledger. I believe in our survival so much. I need you to go to my quarters and find my ledger. Why do you need a ledger at a time like this? Oh, just in case any fools think of this disaster somehow erases the debts they owe me. In return, I'll share one of the trinkets I liberated from the slums before go I rescue you. Bah. I have a feeling Elder Urza's a dick. You... I can sense that you have a shard of the Epoch. But that is impossible. Who are you? Yo, bro. So, okay, listen. It's been a long ride. I see. We have relied on the power of our shard for ages. All was assuming the others were lost. And it seems only tapping into a fraction of its potential. You were brought forward in time by the Shard. If you want to return to your time, we will need to use them together. If the Void does not consume us first, of course. How are you planning to deal with the Void? Elder Panion is an expert at using the Shard. He can weaponize it against the Void. I have received word that his study is under attack. We may be out of time. You probably should have led with that. What can I do? Everyone here is either too old or too injured to go warn Elder Panion. Except for you. Please, find him and have him return here before something terrible happens. Please, take these idols with you. An idol of Logon to guard you against chaos and one of a terror to guide you home, wherever that may be. 
The gods have long left this world, but their memory will give you comfort. Be safe, traveler. Thanks. Oh, this is... Okay, so this is cool. This is, um... I believe this is a reference to Diablo 2. Idols will grant your character bonuses when equipped in the dedicated idol container located here. You may unlock additional idol container space by completing main story and side quests. So you get these idols. Uh, in Diablo 2, you just put them in your inventory. Like, they sat in here taking up space, being annoying. But in this game, you can put them uh, in these slots. Uh, minion, oh, it's minion fire damage. That's fine. A humble idol. You know, minion fire damage is still minion damage. I'll take it. Health on a okay, sure. Remember when I said this whole fucking thing is going to be... Crafting stuff? Yep. Told you. So what's going on here? Yes. We are. Ooh, this looks cool. It's worse stats, though. Or is it? It's literally triple the armor. <laughs> is two intelligence worth... Destroys an item, creating a random number of affix shards containing its power. Weird. You know what? Let's do it. Follow your I look feet. so much cooler. Take it. I think you're the respect lady. Alright, let's go, um... Gotta go to Urza's library. Let's go get his ledger and give it to the gambler guy. Gamba. <laughs> this is the new Diablo 2 update. Kind of. Oh, no. Don't do this to me. LE61 is the new Error 37. Oh, it's back. Well, fuck. There is a solution. I think. We'll see. Oh, I can't go that far. The door is sealed by a powerful rune. I might have to go into offline mode to make this happen. We'll see. You know, Chant has been dead for a while. Wonder if that's related. This guy's also trying to enter. Let's see. Yep, okay. We gotta go back. We are working to resolve online gameplay issues. We appreciate your patience. Yes. Go back. Switch to offline. Wait, I'm sorry. Where'd my character go? Where did my character go? Uh oh. Alright, so I've closed the game. We're gonna I'm gonna launch it in full offline mode and see what happens. I was afraid of this. But I had faith that nothing would go awry. Faith in my new apprentice misplaced, it seems. <laughs> If you'd like to access online characters, chat, and other online features, you'll need to relaunch the game and select the Steam launch option. 
I see. Huh. All right. I told you it was suspicious that there was a full offline mode. And I was worried that the characters wouldn't be able to, you know, to intersect. Because people use offline mode to cheat. And I was right. I was so right. I have this, like, bump on my finger. I don't know what it is. Hmm. ADA MS. Oh, there it goes. See, US Central servers are usually in Chicago, Illinois, which is like three hours away from me. Like two and a half hours away from me. And US East servers are usually like on the legit East Coast, like Pennsylvania area or whatever. Which is, I don't even want to think how far away that is from me. Why is it easier for me to connect to US East than US Central? Confused. You cannot play off online characters offline. Yes, something I've discovered. Which makes complete sense. Like I said, in um, Diablo 3, you could do that. You could take online characters offline, and there was this rampant cheating. Like duping. It was primarily duping, honestly. Two hours. Yeah. Do you think if I... um. I take a break, it'll magically fix itself. Shall we read together? Oh, let's see. Uh, make sure the sound is still going. You can launch Last Epoch in full offline mode. Mm hmm. I'm going to play the game online after launching in full offline mode. You'll need to fully exit. Yep. Using escape in offline mode now pauses the game. Feature differences in full offline mode. Bug report and support ticket buttons are removed. Chat item linking is disabled, though chat window can still be viewed. Wait, how? Region selection dropdown shows is unavailable. Online characters tab is hidden. Cannot return to the landing zone page after selecting play offline. If you log in and your character select is blank, please restart your client. Okay. So my character didn't, like, not save go away. Hmm. Let me, uh... I'm check Here, shall we check together? Here we go. Let, let me include you in this. Although, then the music goes away. Is there really not a... Play music? Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's read together, team. You know, reading. Important skills for all necromancers. Server issues back. Question mark. My mates and I were playing for several hours just fine, and now all of us can't load zones. A couple of them logged out and can't even log back in. Well, I fucked up. Guess it's due to a lot more of the world, USA, waking up and logging in. Sad face. Any word on more stability fixes? Enjoying the game thus far? Bummed can't continue tonight. Must be an EU enjoyer. Can't get back into the game anymore? Yeah. Seems like it sadly had a nice stable morning, came back from some lunch and paperwork to see several streamers booted off their games, and yes, I cannot log back on. Yep, I also was booted. Oh, dear me. They did give out a cloak or something because people were... It was screwed for so long. There's no official new update, though. This is the most recent update, which is... Like 12 hours ago. 10 hours ago. Hmm. Let's go one minute ago. <laughs> Alright. 
Well, I'm not that surprised, to be honest. <laughs> Reading comprehension, too, yep. Person sees an opportunity to play a different class. That's true. I could do that. The whole reason I made this, um, this character is because I do have a friend I'd like... Wait, why is the screen black? A friend, um, I'd like to play with. So... Eventually. To make an online character, could tweak which skills you focus. Like, not going skelly. <laughs> Ah, oh, that's true. I have a feeling that it's gonna be dead for a while. So here's what we're gonna do. What was the class I was also interested in? The Void Knight guy. The spin to win. I suppose this could be my... The dev team is like four people, so the issues are going to last a few days. Yeah, I highly expect it'll be a few days as well. Um, What are they, even the classes? The, the rogue? The warrior guy? Who probably sucks early. Acolyte, mage. I'm kind of interested in the... Um, Primalist? Is that what he's called? The druid guy. So here's the um, here's the list. Did I already switch my scenes? Good. This is the list. Of course, you know, probably wouldn't be able to get beyond the base classes. But the primalist can be a druid, a beast master, and a shaman. And the druid doesn't actually suck like in some other games. Spellblade. Sounds cool. Yeah, it's the Void Knight. That's the Spinny to Winnie. One of my favorite types to play. Nothing is better than farming and chilling as a Spin to Win character. Like, few things itch my brain the way that does. Mage sounds good to me. Primalist, too. Yeah, they both seem pretty cool. I know that people like... Is it this one? The Rune Master? People really like this because it's like... You have these three different rune types, but you can, like, customize how they interact with each other. So, even though you have, like, six rune master abilities, they all multiply, like, multiple times or some shit. Looks really cool. Okay. Um, so here's what we're going to do. The game doesn't work online. So, I have to make a new character. I mean, or I could stop the stream. I could do that, too. <laughs> So, I'm going to start a poll. Offline character. Choices. I am interested. Typically, I am interested in the mage, but I'm really not. So, we're going to go. Another acolyte. Gift spells. Um, Primalists. Primalist looks fun. Or Sentinel. Sentinel. There. Um Nature Caster. I don't know what the Sentinel does besides Bindowin. Bindowin question mark? Alright. I'm gonna take my first break. Here is the poll. Have fun. I'm gonna let this ride and if it fixes itself, it fixes itself. If it doesn't, we're making a new character. I'll be right back in a minute or so if you are enjoying the stream or the VOD in the future. Feel free to leave a like. Hubs up the channel. I'll be right back.
I have returns. How we doing? It's another acolyte, baby. All right. Well done, everyone. Well done. I shouldn't be surprised, honestly. I'm, of course, known as a necromancer enjoyer. All of my content must also be necromantic. <laughs> All right. So what we're going to do with this one, um, we are going to just do a speed run. Basically, I'm just speed run all the stuff. See how fast we can make it happen. You guys are playing offline. Hello, my dear. So we had a path here. Let's go, um, Ankea. Why is solo character found an option? Oh, so that you can't trade between characters. Is that what it is? All right, sure. Alrighty, speed run time. On theme, at least. It's true. I wonder if these keepers will accept my aid. Why is chat here? To deny my power. That's a question. Chat shouldn't exist right now. Look at this kiting. We're, ma we're moving. This is real skill right here. I usually don't play games with make you do stuff like this. It drives me insane. I'm getting too old for this shit. Destroy us and steal Atera's legacy. However, I am used to skipping all the con the the text. Oh, I do not have a whole lot of experience. When did I level up the first time? Give me the sash. The sash of trash. Do you think, um... I'm going to kite this again. Do you think the the loot filter stays between online and offline mode, or do I have to set that up again? At least I'll remember how. I wonder if I should level up Rip Blood first. For AoE. All right, skelly bitches, come here. New skill unlocked, I know. Here. I'm sorry, what? Wait, I know there's a filter here. Go, little boys. Wakey, wakey. There we go. All's right with the worlds. You can swap your skills around. Thank you, game. And I get spec as four. Oh. Cool. You know what? I bet I can just left click and walk. I bet I don't have to kill these little shits. I don't know how the experience requirement works. But I bet I can just walk through shit. And then at the quest turn in, we get a bunch of experience. And boom. We level up. No hassle. Oh, I did just get into a different build, didn't I? How do I differentiate this? It's like I ha I only had so many skills. I guess I just used the Spectral Revenants. Level 3. Hello. When you arrived, yes, everything is... Oh, oh. It was yep, they're gone now. Are you good? Now come. Let me watch you fight. Okay. Give me that in. I think I'm just going to go down one of all of these, right? Smoke. 
maybe. In should increase my own spell power. I think. Or did... Hold on. Oh, this would also increase my own... I see. Okay. I'll put one point in. So I don't know it doesn't matter. So much destruction. And for what? Oh. I almost died. Can you believe it? I almost died again. Maybe I shouldn't just run it right. Just look, don't just left click the whole game, you know. Only left click most of the game. Welcome back, kid of bats. Round two is underway. And I'm trying. I'm debating how I how I differentiate this. All right, our first spec is in, and I say, do I start with right click? No. Let's try and spec these guns out. Oh, I can click this and check it out first. Shorter cooldown. Bigger spirits. One HP continue to reveal spirits for a longer duration, but has a longer cooldown. Hmm. Spirits move faster and deal more damage. Spirits deal more damage to poisoned enemies. Oh, interesting. Spirits last longer when they are revealed. Spears deal more damage to cursed enemies and damned enemies. Huh. The base necrotic damage dealt by wandering spirits is converted to poison damage. Consequently, this damage scales with increase to poison damage, but not increases to necrotic damage. Huh. around a location rather than around you. Hmm. I feel like Locus Mortis wouldn't be very helpful, honestly. What about this one? What about the Blood Shards? Marrow Shards and Bone Splinter hits deal more damage, but Marrow Shards travel less farther. Marrow Shards and Bone Splinters hit deal significantly more damage. But marrow shards no longer pierce. What the hell is bone splinters? Hello? Oh, this. Marrow shards create bone splinters in a cone when destroyed. Which damage enemies, but marrow shards travel less far and cost more health. Huh. Marrow shards create bone splinters in a cone behind the enemy when destroyed. Damaging other enemies. But marrow shards no longer pierce and cost more health. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, team. This seems kind of weird. Pitting points into blood shards and blood orb. No idea if that's going to be good, but it sounds cool. <laughs> it does sound cool. I'm just going to start with Rip Blood to get an AoE going. Like, that was really good. When you directly cast Rip Blood and hit at least one enemy, you gain additional spell damage for six seconds. This thing can stack. Rip Blood and Blood Splatter is basically equal damage converted to necrotic damage. Alright. Yeah, we're, go we're going with this. We're going to get AoE. Get more damage. Sorry, that took a while. Where'd you learn to fight? I kind of want to change or get, like, reduce the cooldown of Wandering Spirits, too. But I think when I have this Blood Rip thing going, the AoE variant of it, like, I don't think I need the Marrow Shard at all. Like, I just get different spells going. Which makes total sense. Quick, before it reaches town. 
Oh, yeah. Allow me to sit here and right-click. I almost had it the whole time. I went into negative mana. We're almost there. Huh. I'll see you ahead. I don't know you could do that. That's kind of cool. It did quite dramatically increase my mana cost to do this AoE thing, but that's okay. That's fine. Hey, look, experience. Does it mean I should increase necrotic like damage? Now, speaking of, I must head there now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Free to look around. Should I add a new loot filter that's just for necrotic damage? I didn't pick shit up. Maybe I should have. Hmm. I mean, increased mana regen seems pretty good. Damage over time. Really? Really? I mean, okay. That's incredible. Increased physical damage for my my thing and increased minion damage? You're spoiling me. You're spoiling me. Alright. I imagine Lich is like full necrotic damage. Hello. Grail was just telling me what yeah. Yeah. do this. And our Grail was just telling me of your Great, battle. yeah. I am Lena. One of the Keeper's Council. There's but they said if at zero mana that is free. Yes. You can now use your portal to visit the last town you went to. Indeedly do. Yeah, I don't have enough mana regen. Holy shit. How'd I overcome this on my other character? <laughs> I mean, I just didn't cast spells. That was also that was something I did. Movement, attack, and cast speed. Hmm. Seems good. Sure was nice not having to cast spells. Not having a single worry in the world. But then... I was struck by the greatest opponent of them all. The servers. Truly. Oh, what if we do a harvest build? Are you necrotic damage? You are. And you scale with dex. Oh my god, your damage sucks. Okay, never mind. We're scratching that. No harvest build. Look at that. What am I supposed to do with that? Okay. You sit here and think about your, your life choices. It's gonna increase my damage. Don't worry about it. The vault's not shared, right? There's no way the vault is shared. It can't be shared. Okay. Our AoEing is increasing. We're just Bing chilling. Let's just be about draining health. Big fan. I love, I love lifesteal. It's so cool. Am I gonna go warlock? No. I was planning on going glitch with this character, if I do get that far.
But it sure would be cool if the servers came back and I could play my real character. Who, of course, is going Necromancer. No! If I really wanted to make use of that talent point in Kid Vice, I'd have to go, um... Well, not have to, right? But I would want... I want, want skills that cost a lot of mana. That I could... Spam, basically. Oh. There is a weird combo. I think. Where, um... I am so much weaker than I was when I was here last time. Um... What should I say? A weird combo where you can go marrow shards and bones of the followers because this makes marrow shards deal a hundred percent more damage, but it consumes a minion when you cast it. And then in skeletons, you go summon dual skeletons wherever that was. Here, no. When a skeleton dies, there's a chance to summon a random new one. Huh. Yeah, this one. Empty the graves. So it costs more mana, but you summon multiple skeletons at once. Then you consume them for the marrow throw thingy. If that makes sense. And then you have just, like, a huge bomb. Oh, that could be fun. Why do I feel like there's a lot less loot dropping? I'm not the only one who feels that way, right? I think I'm not getting any loot. I think this can take a while. I'm just gonna stand here. Oh, mistake. <laughs> All right, I learned my lesson. That's fine. Fine, you you have it your way. I can't go the way. I just realized I'm going down this path with, for the blood infusion. Which was my my pet film. Oh well, that's fine. Cold damage. Dexterity. Look at you go. <laughs> more minions, more sacrifices, more damage. Yeah, I just have to be a higher level for that. Whoops. <laughs> Turns out meteors of the chin hurt. It does turn out that way, yeah. It would appear so. Now. <laughs> now what? Who's saying now to me? What are we talking about? I don't know what we're talking about. I mean, I can't not use the Bone Daddy, right? We go AoE for Blood Spatter, and then we go Bone Daddy. That's what we have to do. We must respect the Bone Daddy. My other character? She's on that skeleton shit. This character? She knows who the real player is. She knows.
I imagine it's only going to get worse throughout the day, the server issues. Because it is uh, 6.32 a.m. Central U.S. It is a weekday. But, you know, it doesn't stop hardcore gamers. <laughs> Just throw my bones at him. Health Bleach also applies to damage over time. Unless... Something. Hungering Souls. Can I spam Hungering Souls? I can. Hmm. Interesting. What, uh... What do you do? Directly casting Hungering Souls causes you to deal more damage over time against possessed enemies. Possessed enemies. Hmm. Chance to poison. Souls deal additional spell damage based on your maximum mana, but fewer souls are created with each cast. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know, team. I don't know about this one. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. I like a passive point. Sure, I'll get some board. I should put one boy in everything, to be honest. The Bone Curse. This is the real, the real shin here. Slows. Bone Curse deals more damage. Bone Curse affects a larger area. If you directly cast Bone Curse, you summon a Bone Prison. Oh. Huh. That's cool. I feel like that significantly longer cooldown is a big no no for that, though. Bone Curse applies Mark of Death. Mark of Death is a curse that lasts for 8 seconds and reduces all resistances by 25%. It cannot stack. Hmm. Bone Curse deals more damage, now only affects a single target. Oh. Bone Curse's base physical damage is converted to necrotic. Consequently, this damage scales with ne increases to necrotic damage. Hmm. Interesting. I'm sorry. What? All minion buffs from Bone Curse have 200% increased effect on the Bone Golems. Oh my god. <laughs> now you're talking by language. You're picking up what I, I'm picking up what you're putting down. Okay. We got a Bone Curse Bone Daddy build. Why didn't you just say so? Like, why'd you have to keep this a secret from me? They both, they're both bees. They're both in the bone zone. It makes sense. I don't know what this shrine, oh, is this? Was I pausing? When I opened menus, maybe. This is offline mode, because I can't play online, so. This way. Hi, Balthazar. I'm back. Unfortunately, this time I have no freaking... Have no items, bro. So I don't need to go sell. Because there's benefits. Banes and boons. As with all things. So 
surprised the US is having issues during the day. I'm in EU and still online. Hmm. I mean, U.S. was having issues yesterday, too. But then the U.S. went to bed, so the issues calmed down, you know? Bright Blade Polarius. I probably should move out of that. I feel like this hungering spirit thing is pretty shit. It doesn't seem good to me. You killed all my... Friends. Pretty rude. Not here. It isn't safe. Okay, hold on. We can be outside. I'm just um just checking, you know. Okay, we'll take the wands. Seems good. Seems good. We'll take the shields. Respects. I'm not seeing anything good, though. I still don't have gloves or a chalice. Nice. That should hold up. That's what we wanted. Well, tell you what. Let's get out of here first, and then I'll explain more. Yes, These let's get the fuck out. These are hardly worth it if you don't know why Orion is after us. Mm-hmm. It is here. Does it? It's messing. Okay, hold on. It's messing me up that I had different bindings from earlier. The game works now? Oh, well. The game works. But I'm not online. I'm playing offline right now. So, does it work? I was online earlier. That was fun. But, uh, you know, I'm just being chilling offline. I didn't want my first stream to end after two hours because the server has died, you know? I wanted to get more of a feel for the game. This game, it feels like one of those games that I would play off stream. You know, just for funsies. Sorry, was that a loot filter thing? Did my loot filter break already? Increased spell damage, fuck yes. It did break. That was a minion damage belt I almost missed. Okay, hold on, we can fix this. We just have to take a look at it and see what's wrong. We emphasize it. We have a special color. Alright, I don't know. It worked last time. No one's breaking now. Can't wait to play when you get home tonight. Hopefully, the servers will be chill when you get back. I doubt it, but, you know, I can hope. Ooh, a Shrine of Wealth. You love to see it. Today was kind of like my uh, my test, if you will. Test to see if I vibe with the game. Test to see if all of you vibe with the game. Because like I said, this feels like a game I play off camera, even if people didn't want me to make content for it. So, I don't regret buying it at all. I'm having fun. But, uh, whether there will be more streams all depend on if people want to see more streams. That's how content creation works. <laughs> the very fundamental level. But yeah, all in all, I'm having fun. That would be my assessment of the game so far. Miss Loot. A blood build, a bone build, a ghost build. I wonder what else. Not sure. 
I gotta be honest, the ghost build seems pretty bad. Ward gain when damage leaves you at low health. No. A mage hat? No. Uh, we probably put the curse in here, right? Yes. This mana and increase cast speed. You may cast bone curse on your minions, which grants them more physical damage, multiplicative with other modifiers, but also applies bone curse's negative effects. Wait, what? So I can put the bone curse on my minions, which makes them take physical damage on hits. But it also gives them physical damage. And then you can make it... Oh my god, I just cracked the code. Huh. So basically, the bone golem... The bone daddy, excuse me. Um, it reflects damage around it when it takes damage. So if I'm dealing damage to it with this and causing it to reflect on top of the damage it's already dealing in an AoE while giving it more physical damage, it's just going to become an AoE monstrosity. Right? I mean, in theory, that makes sense to me. I'm gonna miss having an AoE on this Rip Blood when I have to unspec out of it. <laughs> so I can put in the Bone Daddy. Oh yeah, now it's slow, so I can kite with this shit. That's cool. Oh, is it gonna slow my Bone Golem though? The Bone Golem's already kinda slow. Hmm. Hmm. Weird. Maybe I have to press a spe like a hold alt or something to hit friendly targets or some shit. Okay, go get kidnapped. I'm sure you have questions, but let me first check and make sure the epoch's safe. Mm-hmm. Go get kidnapped. Good. No. We're giving RPG streams on so I can watch cash without having to focus. I know, right? That's usually what I use streams for, too. Hello! That's why I've always been a fan of long-form content. Like, sometimes I, I, you know, I watch dedicatedly what I'm looking at. But, um, a lot of times, like, I'll just have long-form content on while I'm vibing into the games. I've always enjoyed it, and that's now why I make it myself. We go full circle, you know? At least I have a boot or something. Alright, I'll take the chalice, because I don't have one. Any gloves? Got any gloves up in this bitch? Nope. Sure don't. I'm just gonna sell all these things. I don't understand how this works right now. Right. Hello. Yes, I know. Go take care of that. Everything okay? What's that? Yay! He was kidnapped. Don't go take care of it. Don't worry. And bring Balthus back. Best rounds. Just hear a little bit of everything, you know. I think I should have just gone balls deep in damage, though. Alrighty. We're back at it. I love the bone curse. And soon we'll have the bone daddy as well. It'll be a great day for the bone zone. I think I have these other buttons, I just don't. You know what, I'm gonna switch this to his. Just 
because I'm not using the other ability, I think it's trash. Maybe, you know, the reason why it does really low base damage is because necrotic modifiers go ham or some shit. I don't know. I'm just gonna use this for now, though. I don't think this ability is good either, but I think overall it does more damage, just like incidentally. <laughs> Just by accident. Hey, skeletons. You guys are really bad when you're not being specced, huh? That's oh, fine. You don't need to be good little skeletons. I'm gonna throw you away anyway. Ah, ah, ah. Oh no! The Forge Soldiers! Whatever shall we do? Just gonna stand here. <laughs> <laughs> it was a drop! They're all dead. If it's unfortunate, I'm going to have to spec out of this. Right as I get it. Because the Bone Daddy's coming. Oh lord, he's coming. I wonder what the fastest class is in this game. Do we think it's boring and the, just the rogue? Or do we think it's like the mage with the teleporter shit? Remember in Diablo, the sorceress had so much mobility. I don't think there's a reason to turn this in, but I'm going to do it anyway. Did you refresh your stock? Wait, no, come here. Right. Raw. Those look cool. And they give you mana. Sure. Lose Dax, but he gives a shit. Increase casting speed. Eh? This is all garbage game. Hello. Blessing. It was a trap. Prayers be with cool. You. Good talk. Rogue, you reckon? They're usually fast? They usually are, yeah. This is some cool looking robes. Excuse me, I was admiring myself. Just a uh, comparison, by the way, with how fast I've been just zooming through this content. I had transplant at this point. So, you know, we're here a little early, but it's okay. No big deal. That was kind of the point. Because I've been here before. We've seen this already. I wonder if you'll be able to transfer characters eventually, you know? Probably not. I'm just thinking, because... There's not really an incentive for me to, like, focus on this game. <laughs> ah, well, it's fine. We're having fun. It's fine. It's not like I play... The online thing is just to play with any friend who joins, right? But... Hey, look! It's working this time! It's not like I'm known for my online play. I have one friend I think I can convince. There's Transplant. Um, I think I can convince to play. And then one who I might be able to get to try it out. To come uh, drag kicking and screaming. 
Alright, I'm gonna miss not having my AoE here. I have to wait till level 20 if I want to do it this way. <sighs> but we're gonna try it, I promise. So I need to spec out of this. Despec skill. They put in the Bone Daddy. Alright, Bone Daddy, what are we working with? Your Bone Golem moves and attacks faster. I'm sold. Your Golem deals more spell damage. I'm sorry, what? And has an increased chance to scum. You deal spell damage? Additional health regen based on the total amount of your health regen. The Golem gains significantly more armor for 8 seconds whenever a skeletal minion dies nearby. Your Golem has a higher chance to retaliate with Bone Shatter when hit, and its Bone Shatter deals more damage. Your Golem's Bone Shatter projectiles pierce and travel faster. If you control only one Golem, it has a much higher chance to retaliate when damaged by hits from allies. Allies, huh? Wait, that wording suggests I can have another one. The Death Chill Golem. The Death Daddy Golem? <laughs> the, uh... The... The Bone Daddy Golem. The Death... The Death Daddy... The Death Bone Daddy. There we go. The base physical damage of Death Chill Golem is converted to cold. Consequently... Uh, there's minion damage skill with minion cold, but not increases minion physical. Death Chill Golem's melee attacks begin a freeze rate. Equal to twice their base damage. Wow. Um. Unexpected. Your golems. I'm liking this plural. Wait, is that what it is? Your golems deal more damage. Your golem also summons a golem. Fuck yeah. We're going there. <laughs> Yo, I heard you like bone daddies. So now your bone daddy can have a bone daddy. We're going there. That's the goal of the stream now. That's it. That's where we're headed. Um, I might remove the skeletons to get an to get the bone marrow thingy going again. Cause I do not have AoE right now, and god does it suck. It sucks a lot. It hurts my soul. Oh, hello. You're working. Increase minion damage by 24%. Yep. Just trust the Bone Daddy, you know? Who needs AoE? Just trust the Bone Daddy. I can infinitely cast this spell now, so... I'll just hold right click this one. You trust the Bone Daddy here. It does suck you gotta play separate characters if the server shuts down, yeah. But I mean, to be fair, like, it's... The only reason it's like that is to protect against cheating. There is literally no other reason. And I guess... You're here for the epoch. I'd rather them do it that way than spend... Pointless resources on trying to stop cheating that can't be stopped, you know? Players are gonna find a way to cheat if you have an offline mode. It doesn't matter. Just ask Blizzard. They learned that the hard way. Well, they should have learned it the hard way. Whether they actually learned it is to be determined. Am I even hitting him? I think I am. Make sure he's still cursed. Especially because I have a super curse. How'd you learn about the Epoch, by the way? Like, how does he know its name? I mean, I guess Raya is a god, supposedly. Even with my very different talents, he cannot kill the Bone Golem. That's how much of a daddy the Bone Daddy is. He cannot be stopped. He cannot be contained. No, okay. No, get me out of here. Oh, it the Are you okay? Speaking of, let's head back to camp. Let's head back to camp. Once. You heard it. 
Necromancer seems to be the best subclass so far. Could be. I mean, Necromancer doesn't leave a lot to the imagination, you know? I mean, I got some actual booties. I can't complain. A necromancer is a necromancer. Is a necromancer. I'm not complaining, though. Alright. Just go there. Hello! He's yes, he's back, and he's back. about to do something stupid. I'm, I'm sorry to Here we go. This is what's best for us all. With the Epoch's power, I'll finally be able to... I'm just checking the thing real quick. There hasn't been a new update. On the official thing. Oh, you know what? I bet. Let me check their Twitter account. Like X account, whatever. Let's see. Nope. Maybe they're asleep. Who knows? Anywho. I have the epoch again. Oh, there's a teleporter down here. God damn it. All right, here's the real question. Oh, cool. We can just travel through between them. Um, the real question. How much XP? How swiftly do you think I can gain XP to get the double bone bennies? Impossible. How so? What, what are we thinking is impossible here? I definitely think that I should remove, change the bone curse to blood split or blood rip if you were trying to min-max this right now. If you were trying to go hard, you know. Who am I? Who are you? I'm just someone who's chilling. That's all we do here. We chill. Until the next stream. The next stream is going to be hella tryhard. Uh, I'm worried about... After how hard the seasonal content was in King Arthur, I'm kind of worried about Legion 9. How hard it's going to be. Minimum skill level 2. I'm sorry, what did you just say? Minimum skill level. How many skill points your skills start with when you specialize them? Oh, okay. Right, that's this thing. You summon an additional golem, but each golem has reduced max health, is smaller, and deals less damage. That's fine. They had to make them smaller because having two of these lumbering monstrosities on the screen would be a lot. Although, you know what? I'm down for that. How dare them, how dare they think they can disrespect the Bone Daddy in my presence. Okay. Chill when the enemy is hit. Adds a freeze rate to Bone Curse. Wow, okay. That's really meta, right? To start freezing shit. Add crowd control to your, uh, hard crowd control your spammable curse thing. That'd be my guess. If I were a guessing individual. Hey. 
going in. We've almost made it back to where we were, but when, it, when the game shit out on me. Yes. Hello. On my fucking way. And the servers died, and all hope was lost. When the world needed them most. Have I found anything worth a damn? No. This could be good, actually. If I didn't have a in huge insane man and damage buff. Yes, I'll save them. I'll save the scrubs, don't worry. Gained experience on kill. Let's go, Bone Daddy. Oh. Beautiful, isn't he? He's perfect in every way. It eludes me. It eludes me. What more could you ask for? Two, actually. I can ask for two. Of course they're not gonna take you. Calm down. What did I name you? Ankea, you're Ankea. Calm down, Ankea. I realize that your name translates into Mirthless, but you don't have to be that Mirthless. No. Trans teleported too soon. <gasps> you killed the Bone Daddy! Heresy. You will suffer. I hope he wasn't dead too long. That would be embarrassing. I got there eventually. I got there in the end. I don't need a revenant. I see more damage. We're almost there. Two specs away with the bone daddy. And then we get a second one. And then our bone daddies can have bone daddies. I have no idea how it's going to work. And I am morbidly curious. Hello. Yes. All right, wrong person. God, Try not to hurt you. yourself. Oh, I've cleared a path. Hey. I like how the, the guards just like... It eludes me. They'll AFK, you know? They didn't get their choice on draft, so they AFK'd until they can surrender at 15 minutes. It's kind of what it feels like. I like how I haven't played League in fucking a decade or more, and I still made that reference. That was still a clean reference. It goes to show you how things just don't change. History is a circle. Because the one consistent in all historical events are people. And people don't change. Hmm. Nice sound effect. Okay. Moving on. I wish all of his attacks were just huge AoEs, that'd be fun. I realize you can only be so un imbalanced, but... Ooh. Thank you, text. Where is it? Oh, it is auto-equipped. More minion damage. You'll love to see it. Another one! Minion health. Fantastic. I love when a plan comes together. I will eventually have to probably get some fanagles, fancy filter someone spent 200 hours making and putting together, but yeah, that's sure. That's what those websites are for, you know? The 
the icy veins and the max roll GGs of the worlds. That's what they're for. Hello. What brings you here? I have Can saved you speak? again. Ooh, the bone curse thing is ready to level up. I may now curse the bone curse on your minions, which grants them more physical damage, but also applies the negative effects. Does this slow you assholes? Yes. Okay, fair enough. It slows you, but it buffs you. It's a price that some people that you must pay. I saw that shield of life. Given twenty one percent minion health, which is way worse than my current that shield is too thingy. Much. Too much, is it? Guess it is. Level twelve. The bone daddy. He's almost there. Damage. 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 I can vendor all my trash at this little town over here. better than one bone daddy two bone daddies the dream i guess the, the dream of the stream was meant sooner than i was expecting <laughs> i guess that's what happens when you just literally run it down you know quick progression is vital to games like these it's true it's not just quick progression it's quick Only and consistent longer. progression I always began losing interest. Oh, this is different, right? No, it's not. I always began losing interest in games like these when I got to the point where my upgrades were like 0.001%. That is usually when I'd go, you know what? I think I'm done. That's when it was too much for me. Look at the bone daddy. Go on. I'll be right behind you. Didn't even die. He thought about it, but he did. Alrighty, we're back. Mm. I see. You, not plead, plead. The gods have long left this world, but their memory will give you comfort. Did I Be roll safe, better, traveler? Minion cold damage. So I did not roll better. That's okay. These items might be your best bet. They don't go getting yourself killed. All right. Oh. You could just sell everything. You know I'm gonna sell everything. And then we're gonna gamble on one of these. Just once. Interested in another try? Actually, I don't know why I did gamble. Because I have an incredible... Tome. You have a wands? You can gamble on? Gamble on the wand. Let's go. Want to give it another shot? Absolute garbage. What? Go on, then. I hate you, Mr. Elder. Alrighty, we are exactly yes. almost where we left things last time. 50% increased minion health. Yep. You love to see it. Minion damage. Oh, shit, though. Follow your feet. All right. 
Boom. Okay, we're here. Can I enter this? I can. New content! <laughs> and it only took... Like an hour. Cool. But I could have gone faster. So what are we doing here again? We're here for the ledger. In this. Okay. So, uh, for those who weren't here earlier when I picked this up, we were requested to get... What? No. Uh, to get this elder's ledger after we saved his life and he acted like an arrogant prick. Fear. Uh, so I'm going to get his ledger, but I'm going to give it to the gamble guy. Instead, because um, the gamble guy doesn't act like a dick. At least not to me. Now, the healing void touch scholar of rampancy. Okay. I got more minion stuff. 10% increased minion damage. That's an upgrade. On the crowded desk since a large, well-worn ledger. Peek into it. Grund. Converted debt comes to a dozen bundles of meat and four casts of growl milk. Note, Grund's recent financial issues have become worse. Adjust debt conversion to reduce the difficulty of repayments. Sable. 500 gold marks and two dozen rations. Note, deceased debt nullified. Gemis. Two well of a hundred gold marks. Note, deceased, dead, nullified. Return jewelry held as collateral to the nearest relative or associates. Artem, debt repayment is not likely. Note, I must refuse to play more games of chance with Artem. Empire Bones, Oracle Cards, and even betting on beetle fights, he keeps losing and only increases his debts. Well, his ledger seemed rather legit, honestly. At least he gave the collateral back to family members. There's something going for him. Not enough to change my mind, mind you, but it's something. Number go up doesn't do it for me for long. Yeah, especially when the number is like 0 0.01. Yeah. Eventually... I don't know what the end game in this game looks like. I mean, I know there's like dungeons and then there's like the arena or whatever. But, um. Minion health. Actual decrease, wow. But. It eventually becomes like how high of the greater rift I could get to in Diablo. And in pillars. It had to do with the maps, right? Like what level map you could run. And there were the uber bosses or whatever, but I think I did one of those. I did them a lot in Diablo 3. The uber Tristram or whatever. That was kind of fun. There you go. The other guy's a hey, dick. Want to try your luck? I'm glad you have the good sense to give the ledger to me rather than him. As a sign of gratitude, here is one of the valuables I was able to <clears throat> salvage from the city below. We've got some more coin. You know where to find me. Ooh, is that a legendary amulet? A hundred percent crit strike chance if you have not dealt a critical strike recently. A fifty percent less critical strike chance if you have dealt a critical strike recently. Eleven health gain on crit. Ah. Interesting. You may find a treasure, my friend. I mean... What am I supposed to do with this? That's cool and all. But it's not what I'm here for. Oh. Of course, his study is over here. How... 
why wouldn't his study be connected to Urza's study? What a silly assumption of me. All right, we have some lore over here. Not the people. Screw the people. This lore. I once believed the shards would be safe where the gods could not reach. In the future, I was mistaken. I find myself in a ruined era. Oh, the first elder must be Balthus. With only one shard left by my side, my purpose is clear. I must seek refuge, prevent others from this power, and locate the rest of the epoch. What happened when I tapped into this power? Why did one shard come with me? Where are the others? Was all of this for nothing? Probably. Minion speed. Air spirit plank. Oh, would you look at that? It's like we never left. We're so close. I wonder if Twin Golem is even good. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna have it. <laughs> Oh, hi. Just slow everything. I kind of wish things that were cursed exploded. That would be fun. Maybe there is a way to make that happen. Maybe there is this. Hello. <laughs> Ah, Bone Danny. Uh, gluttony, putrid demise, additional poison risk, and whenever you kill an enemy, you have a chance to inflict poison on enemies around them. I kind of didn't care during all that, and I was just letting my minions deal with it. I wonder if the whenever you kill a minion thing applies to your pets, too. Because, I mean, they're killing them for me, you know? All right, everyone quiet. There's Lauren. As quickly as I came here, it is now time to go. Last refuge is as safe as it can be. We've created a Oops. sanctuary here. Sorry. It is time I hang up the title of Elder Balthus. With that, I begin again. Here I leave my knowledge. The records of Itara's past and the millennia of wrongdoings that created this world. I am disturbed by this era, but it is not a mistake. It is the consequences of our actions. History is not observed. It is made. We must act. Okay. I mean, fair enough. I mean, there's no way he knew I was coming, right? But he could have chilled. Because he made a huge mistake in coming forward in time. So it's only safe to assume going elsewhere would just be more mistakes. But here's lore to find out. Read this. I am gone. Oh, great. Keep Lost Refuge safe. Fight off the void. Do not succumb to despair. Like you. I trust you all. You are my people. Which is why I must go. <laughs> May Terra protect you all. Alright. Hmm. That's pretty good. I'm gonna take that. I mean, in a way, it was worse, but in a way, it was better, you know? So. Yes, Bone Daddy Smash! Those in online mode, the loading times are pretty long. Yeah, they were long for me, too, even before that, like, shut down. 
pretty quick here in offline mode. Hello. Are you looking for Panium? He already left to take the shard and face the void himself. He will fail. It is too late for us, and so it will be too late for him as well. Too late for everyone. Oribis is already here. I think this is a placeholder image right here. What are you doing? Oh. Okay. I like how one of them is called Panion Student, the other have names. Like, that guy was just not good enough to get a name. Or are two of them called students? Yeah, the other one's Husk. Okay, fair enough. Well, I hope everyone's having a great day. <laughs> Slow going, you know, but that's all right. We'll get there eventually, don't worry. Single target was never our speciality. Honestly, neither is AoE. Our speciality is not dying. And what a good speciality it is. Return to Elder Gaspar and tell him that Elder Panion is missing. Cool. I guess you can just TP out, huh? Hey, bud. Your friend's gone. Panion still. I Oops. fear the void is manipulating him, turning his courage into arrogance. He's left to face the void alone. And what can we do now? You must intercept Elder Panion before the void claims him and seizes the shard. Knowing him, he is headed where the Void broke into the city. And where is that? Please, stop him. Okay. Thanks, bro. I'll do that. Okay, right on that. You deal increased poison damage and your minions have a chance to deal poison on hit. Hmm. Your minions have additional armor per character level. I mean, that's not a bad one to have. Pretty good one. You feeling lucky? You feeling lucky, punk? Maybe. Maybe not. Is it really any of your business? I think it's not. All right. Oh, we have a side quest. God there you go. With you. It was a dark day. No telling how many have been lost. If they couldn't best those things, maybe they deserve to die. You will watch your tongue. If you are so strong, then make yourself useful. Down in the armory, my men are trying to retrieve arms and supplies. Unless you want to see that darkness kill the rest of us, you will aid them. Stay safe. Yes. So I don't like being commanded, but I did sass him a little bit, so... That looks cool. Can I buy this and put it on my appearance? Can we play transmog? I think I remember that being a complaint that you couldn't do that. Find out. Nope. Yes. Maybe one Follow day. Your feet. Maybe one day. All right. The quest continues. Characters do much better with the bone daddy running around. Oh yeah, the bone daddy is the key. The Bone Daddy is the solution to all problems. I can only imagine it's better when there's two of them, but we'll see. You never know. Oh, reflective. Wait, is this a door? Oh. A little uh, treasure room. Not much treasure in it, but that's fine. Interesting. I have a stunning shrine. There's a teeming husk over there. 
That's disgusting. I'm leaving. I'm trying to put down the bone curse before the bone daddy lands on everything. But it is worth noting. Bone Daddy is attack really slow. Which isn't the most conducive to making use of the Bone Curse, but that's okay. Oh, hold on. We have more people. Or people who don't respect the Bone Daddy. Alright. Once more. Casting Bone Curse and minions cause them to reflect a flat amount of damage. Yes, we're on the way. We're going full Bone Daddy. There really is no other option, you know? I think I read something. Where you could attack your own Bone Daddy or something? We saw that actually in the talent tree, where it had like a higher chance of triggering its AoE when it was attacked by allies or something. The double Bone Daddy. So you summon an additional golem, but each golem has reduced max health, is smaller, and deals less damage. This knows modifier into health and damage are multiplicative. So it reduces... Wow, it does about half damage. 20% less health, 35% less health. I wonder if that's worth it. We'll see. We'll see. Might be specking out of that. The Idol of Ruin. We'll see. I don't want to spec out of this until we get the... Um... The last talent for the curse here. The one that... Bon that, 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 that boons the Bone Daddy the most, you know? Once we get that, then we can decide if it's worth it or not. Ow. The Bone Daddy's protects. Ooh, holy shit. Hi. What do we got? 70% increase minion damage. Good, I like it. 10% increase in minion damage. Nice. I'll take it. Very good. Very good. Best this is trash. Okay. The Ancient Cavern. I didn't mean to click on that. Or did I? Minions take 50% less damage from all sources. Find a way to the other time rifts. Huh. Okay. We went back in time... 7,000 years? No big deal. Let's go Bone Daddies. I'm proud of you. Look at him go. Okay, so I have a teleporter. That's the way out. Let me just walk over here real quick. That's where my quest leads, but what's over here? What's with this weird pathway? Doesn't matter, the Bone Daddy says no. You may have healing in your name, but the Bone Daddy declines. What am I looking at? Cultist Chopper. 
A chopper of the cultists, not a... A chopper belonging to cultists, not a chopper of cultists. Important distinction there. It eludes me. It eludes me. Okay, interesting. So I had to use this to go back in time. 7,000 years to cross a crevice? Is that what this was about? Excessive, but okay. You know, I respect it. I respect it. Is this my main quest? I think this is my main quest. I think it is. No. Yes. Alright, whatever. I think both of them are this way. I think the side quest is in here, this zone, and then the main quest is behind this one. I think. Let's find out. Where are you going? You there. Please give me the way to the council chambers is safe. It might be. Might not be too late for the others. I cleared a path. Where are the others? My friends, my neighbors, everyone in my block of the district. Ulikios promised them safety under the gaze of Eterra and led them closer to those monsters. I think a statue of our dead goddess can protect them. Those fools, please help them. I mean... You know. Can you really save someone from themselves? Despite the efforts of the Catholic Church... Not possible. Are you fighting amongst yourselves? What's going on here? There's somebody. Oh look, they're alive, kind of. What's up, guys? You're not dead yet. You're doing great. I had completely lost faith in you. But it turns out you were holding on. Good job. I don't know where I would be without Rip Blood, to be honest. It's so nice being able to just AFK, right click, and not die. It does complicate matters. Trying to like target down single entities sometimes. Because my single entity damage is not good. Worthless. Worthless. I love this ass my character has. Just Worthless no. anyway. Exactly. Worthless anyway. How we doing? We're making a bunch of noise. Without red blood, we'd be dead. True. Troll won't save you, but a blade might. I think I sell everything. Hold on. Yes. Some of these look cool, but um, I'm really not interested if it doesn't have minion damage on it. I gotta be honest. No minion effects? No favor. I bet these crafting materials could do something cool. I bet they could. Wait, the waypoint's locked in the armory? Okay. 
I guess I was in the upper districts. Who knew? Tell me. Summons Ethereal Reflections. They did well. I mean, I might as well finish this off, right? Can't just leave it four out of five. If I could, I suppose. All right, everyone, get over here. Join the party. Let the Bone Daddy smash you. Hey, okay, what's going on? Or was a boss in this mess? Well, okay. Ah, this brings me joy. Brings me great joy. 38% minion increased health. That's half. That's like half of this. You're gonna have to say no. Modifies the outcome of a craft when upgrading an affix. Randomly changes the upgraded affix to a different one that can spawn on that item type. It cannot change a prefix into a suffix or vice versa. For example, if you use a fire resistance shard to raise the tier of a fire resistance suffix, the tier would increase as normal and then it would change into a different affix such as cold resistance or increased health. Interesting. So I could use that to try and hunt for like a minion thing? Hmm. Hmm. It might be worth keeping the glyphs. The little shard things, I don't know about that, but the glyphs, it might be worth it. Maybe I shouldn't just auto-sell them. You killed the bone daddies, Heresy. To be fair, they're kind of in the thick of it. It's kind of my fault. It's always my fault. It is all my fault. What do we got here? We got haste. Whatever it's called. Speaking of bone daddies, get more health. I have unlocked the infernal shade. That sounds cool. What's it do? Target enemy and all nearby enemies take fire damage per second. Each enemy can only have one infernal shade attached at a time. Expires after five seconds, max four active shades. Huh. Hmm. 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 Deals damage in a larger area. Person's chance to ignite nearby enemies. Infernal Shade's base fire damage is converted to physical. Consequently, this damage scales with increases to physical damage. All ignite chance in this tree is converted to bleed chance and effects re related to ignite now depend on blood. Interesting. Minions which have an Infernal Shade attached to them gain increased movement, attack, and cast speed each second up to a maximum. I can put an Infernal Shade on a minion? Oh, but it deals damage to them. Interesting. Can you become a minion thing? Yeah. So I can turn the Bone Daddy into a fire. The Pyron Golem's Infernal Aura consumes skeletons and skeletal mages that it hits to deal more damage over time. Her minion consumed. Your Golem deals more damage over time. And Pyron Golem's Infernal Aura deals damage in a larger area. Your Golem's hit restore health to you and itself. I'm sorry, what? You can now summon a Blood Golem instead of a Bone Golem. Blood Golems can also cast Sanguine Orb, a spell that deals physical damage to nearby enemies. Over two seconds. Huh. Interesting. But blood... Blood Daddy doesn't roll off the tongue like Bone Daddy. 
There's a button on the right that stores crafting materials. Wait, you're serious? <gasps> uh, well. That is embarrassing. It's unlimited as far as you're aware. As to never store crafting materials, you never know when you might need them. Thanks. Did I just walk off the map? Let's not worry about that. Blood Golem sounds on brand. It's just so much harder to say than Bone Daddy, you know? I think it's because there are three Ds. Four, actually, technically, if we're spelling correctly. There's a D right before Daddy, and that's, that's wrong. Cursing, uh, crafts being Bone Curse on minions causes them to reflect a flat amount of damage to attackers. This effect lasts four seconds and does not stack. But we are going to be popping this to get to the barb construct. That is my goal. Is it good? Couldn't tell you. But it's what I'm doing. So maybe it is. Who knows? Maybe. I don't know. My poor bone daddies. I'm just tossing this shit on top of them. They're slowed. They're taking bonus damage. But they're champs. Wait, where is this quest turn in? Share your experience with someone in the council chambers. Okay. That's back there. Got it. Wait, why is this like a boss arena? Hello? Okay. It's not a boss arena, unfortunately. I wish it was. It'd certainly be a lot cooler. Look at the bone daddy. He ate that for me. These little banelings ain't got shit. On his durability. Did all the humans die yet? I think they did. Suck, suck. Nah, well. No remorse. Oh, hi! Okay. We'll just chill for a minute. No big deal. It's very uncool of you. Okay. I did it. Crafting. Visit the crafting forge at any time to upgrade your items by pressing F. F. Oops. Yeah. Okay. Why did it instantly go here? Ye Hello. Grace be with you. <laughs> Captain Ensel sent you. Thank you, Terra. It's too late for most of us, but Manus the Quartermaster is still somewhere in the armory. Please find him and he'll help get supplies back Take to El Capitan. Well, I wish I knew about that a lot sooner, but that's okay. At least on my online character, I saved all of the crafting shit, because I'm like, I don't know how this works. So I'm just going to put all of it in the vault. And now I'm glad I did. That was a lot of explosions. Turn to be Bone Daddy.
My inventory's not pretty. I mean, it never is. I don't think there's a single game I play where my inventory is pretty. It's just a feature of being a hoarder. The hoarding feature. It's always a disaster. I can summon a volatile zombie. Alright, the Ivory Twin. Your golems deal more damage, multiplicative with other benefits. If bone golems have been replaced by another type of golem, you now have an equal chance to summon a bone golem. I didn't quite understand that last part. Your minions have additional armor per character level. Yep. Seems good. Alright, now I'm at the armory. Let's go back to town. Sell my crap. Turn in these quests. Let everyone know that uh, shit's falling apart, but I'm still a Giga Chan. I'm sure they'll all agree. Where'd my hat go? <laughs> Excuse me, that's mine. Hey there, want to try your luck? So basically, I could, in theory, take an item I like, like that helmet that I just sold, this one. And I could increase one of these resist things using the thing of chaos to try and roll for minion health or something or other. Let's give it a shot. Hold on. So if I put this in here. Okay, this is adding the whatever. If I add... I'm upgrading an apex. So if I put this in here... And I add vitality. This should change to something random. No. Upgrading an affix. So if I could upgrade an affix, which I don't think I can, is that this tier one thing? Okay. You feeling lucky? Feeling lucky, punk? Not really. I mean, maybe. What do you got? No? Okay, I'm good. Why are you glowing? Greetings. Oh, what do you know about time rifts? Why, from that story you told Elder Gasper, I should be the one asking you, but yes, I will indulge you. Throughout the history of Aterra, there has been the rare tale of strange portals or travelers claiming to be from another time, often in events involving the Shards of the Epoch. Your story of passing through multiple on the same day is quite bizarre. Have there been any tales of time rifts in the precipice? What? Of course not. Do not tell me you encountered one. Gods, between the void finally finding last refuge and the multiple rifts in time appearing here, this indeed seems to be the end of the world. Yet these rifts may be our salvation. Search for more of these rifts. If we can learn more about them, we may find a way to use these rifts. Sure. Do not dwell on regret. Yes. I'll do what I can. That's a stick. Of conflagration. Your feet. Yes. But I've got a book of minion damage. So. Tucks to suck, I guess. Back into the armory. Alrighty. I don't think my bone daddies are going to do the thing. I think, if I'm understanding this even remotely correctly, 
If bone golems have been replaced by another type of golem, you now have an equal chance to summon a bone golem. So does that mean... If I had the blood golem... I'd also have a chance to summon a bone golem and a blood golem? Huh. Interesting. I'm not sure what I make of this. But you know what I do make of something? I am about to be level 20. Which means I get the next spec slot, which means I could get AoE again if we wanted it. Or I could go into making my skeletons not useless. The choices really are endless. Gold, gold, swimming in gold. Okay, it's time to make a twink. It'll never get old. Oh my god, how old is that song now? Do I even remember the lyrics? Can I make it think, it'll never get old? No. No, I don't. Remember that one part, the boom. Nope, I don't know. Boom shot, what the fuck, home? Something from across the room. <laughs> I was on the phone! Oh my goodness. Good times. Back in the old days of WoW Machinima and people cared. I mean, they still care. They just care about the wrong things now. I literally couldn't give a shit if you found if you would like to clear the dungeon 20 seconds faster. You know? Clearing the dungeon is clearing the dungeon. You don't have to break records. And why would anyone put themselves through the misery of Mythic Plus 27? Have you seen a Mythic Plus 27? Gods. Oh, hi. Quick, let's get back to the Count's Chambers! Terror, watch over you. You're welcome for me guiding the way. Are these Zerglings supposed to terrify me or something? Everything's exploding, but I literally couldn't give a shit. Because the Bone Daddy is unstoppable. The Bone Daddy is relentless. I feel no threats. Ooh, an idol. An idol of doom. Now we're talking. I don't know what that does, but it sounds way better than the humble idol of the god or whatever. Alright, doom. What are we dooming? 8% increased damage over time. Increase void damage, increase minion void damage. Alright, fine. I'll take it. It says the word minion. I'm pretty sure none of my minions do void damage, but I'll take it. What's that symbol? Hello? Oh, hi. What is going on here? What are you doing? Leave me! Run! I can feel myself changing! Elder Panian's body starts to twist and distort in front of you. Run. Well, unacceptable, bro. So basically, he came here with the shard to stop the void. But he was lured by the Void to do this. And now he's a demon? Question mark? Am I picking up the story beats here? Because that's what I've got. Impossible. 
impossible. Well, you better make it possible. Oh, shit. Oh. Guess I'm just gonna stand here, then. Just gonna kill me. Bro, that's against terms of service. You gotta be careful, you know? They're really cranking down on that thing to be advertiser-friendly. I really try and... Oh, I tanked that whole thing and I didn't even realize it. I'm paying attention. I did it. Seems he failed to handle the void's power. So much for their mighty elder. Pathetic. I love her voice actor. Holy shit. Before you lies the shard that Elder Panian had held. It seems to drive the void away despite being unable to protect the man himself. The shards you hold resonate in its presence as though drawn to the one before you. Enter the time rift and unlock your mastery. Don't mind if I fucking do. Okay. My online character is the necromancer, right? The end of time. That's not intimidating. Wait, what? You seem a little disoriented. First time here, traveler. What the hell is this place? This is what is left of your timeline, and many others. Welcome to the end of time. No. Oh. Don't act so surprised. Countless other travelers have come and gone from here. <laughs> I must have looked that surprise my first time as well. Most of them don't last much longer. Jumping around timelines is a dangerous hobby. If you want a better chance, you should find your friend, Gasper. He might be kind enough to show you how to tap into your true potential. <laughs> Elder Gaspar. Here. I'll speak to him. Oh, hey, my gambler you find a treasure, my friend. Looks like we're both lucky, eh? Speaking of, being in a nexus of temporal possibilities turns to be a great way to get some new wares. I had to take a look. Eh. Look, I'm not interested if it doesn't say minion on it. Okay? We've been over this. Although maybe I should be. If I'm not going to be a necromancer on this character... Maybe I need a new a new perspective. How the hell do I get to this person? Are you below? Oh, okay, I got it. I got it. As making an offline character yourself takes three minutes to load into an area. Oof. All right, we're going to go Lich on this character. I've decided right now. You've woken up. That's good. I'm sure you have many questions. Kind of. How can you help me? I see you've spoken with the armor-clad woman. She may be flippant, but she intends well. That is a huge fucking thing down there. Your potential is infinite. Infinite in strength, yet at risk of drowning in a sea of other selves. Countless alternate versions of you have come and gone, only to drift away into nothingness. Some of them were strong, and their power can be absorbed, given a new home in you. Weird. How do I harness their power? I have been here for a long time. Long enough for time to lose meaning. For my original self to lose meaning. Is that why you talk so slow like a treebeard character? I have absorbed the faded selves of too many other Gaspars to count. In the process, I've become adept at guiding the shades that flow here. 
If you allow me, I will guide a measure of your other selves to you. This will tie their lost fate to one which still holds hope. I warn you, your will must be absolute, or you will risk losing yourself to the storm of shades. Do you accept this risk? Yeah, sure. Then close your eyes and focus on the potential you wish to wield as I guide the shades to you. Alrighty. So, Necromancer, a commander of undeath, they send their animated roles to battle perfectly willing to sacrifice themselves as they deem fit. This is the mastery I'm going to play, like in the future, I'm a real character. So, uh, for now, this character is going to do something else. Which leaves the Lich and the Warlock. So the Lich, an acolyte who embraces the corruption of their power and uses the magic of blood and death, even at the expense of their own health. 1% of damage dealt is leached as health, and spells and melee attacks deal increased damage equal to your missing health. And gives us the Reaper form. Takes on the mantle of death itself and transforms into a Reaper, temporarily gaining the Reap ability. While in Reaper form, your health regen does not apply and your health decays over time. When your health reaches zero, instead of dying, you transform back to human form and are healed over time. I see that you are still you. That strength will be necessary if our world, our reality, is to have any hope. Your trials in the ruined era are not yet done. The epoch you hold is still incomplete. Return to last refuge. Return to the me from so long ago. He will guide you toward the last shard and the inevitable fate of your timeline. We will meet again. Okay. So now... This popped up before. Yeah, so you can put points in the other trees, I guess, up until here. If you want to. And the master you've unlocked can go. What is this blue bar? Is that where I am? You and your minions deal increased necrotic damage and have a chance to apply damned on hits. The fuck is damned? This note does not give your minions a chance to apply damn. Damn deals necrotic damage over time, reduces health regen by 20% and lasts 2.5 seconds and can stack an unlimited number of times. Huh. Okay. Lich time. Intelligence increased mana regen. Health. Spell damage leech is health. You deal increased damage as bonuses tripled when you're below 35% health. Uh. Spell damage. Okay, we're going to go with that. Survival of the Cruel. I need two of it to at least get to Hollow Lich. Not level 20 yet? What fucking level am I? I think it's time the skeletons go. It's hard for me to get rid of Transplant because it's a movement ability, you know? Hmm. Hitting minions with Reap heals them for the same amount that Reap would heal you if an enemy was hit. Interesting. I want to try and make Reap or uh, Lich work with the Bone Daddy. That would bring me incredible joy. You deal additional necrotic damage. Was there one of these that deal necrotic damage? Well, I guess it doesn't matter, right? Hmm. Your golem is larger and generates more threat.
What does increased size do? Increase size and deal more damage. If you have no other living golems when you summon them. What? Your golems have significantly more higher armor for the first 15 seconds of their life when summoned near the course of another golem. That's so weird. No, it's frost. Hmm. I don't know. You'd be going Lich of Yugula back in, yeah. I did Necromancer in Guild Wars 2. That has a Reaver form too. I didn't get that far. Guild Wars 2. I was thinking of the, um... The Necromancer from... God, I cannot remember that card game. Can I remember anything about it? It's in my list here. I played it quite a lot. It recently got an RPG variant. It was based off a tabletop game. Boy, this is gonna bug me. Tainted Grail! Tainted Grail. Yes, that game. Holy shit. I was never gonna guess that. I had completely forgotten that. Uh, the Lich in that I'll game is the same way. By the gods, you made it back safely. With these suppliers, you may be able to last just that much longer. Thank you. We are in your debt. You're Stay welcome, safe. scrub. Why, terror? You've done it. You've returned the shard. What about Panion? Dead as fuck. I see. Even with both of our shards, this city is lost. Our only hope lies in the Temple of Eterra, where the last shard remains. By reforming the Epoch, you will be able to return to your time and take us with you. Away from this ruin, you are the only one who can help us. I will find the last shard. Thank you. There is an old passage to the surface. I will dispel the rune that keeps it sealed. The Temple of Eterra is far to the east. All right, goodbye. Yes? Yes? I wonder... Hmm. May Eterra smile upon you. Do I hear Elder Gaspar correctly? You're going to the surface. If so, I have a request for you. What is it? Among the old records dating back to when humanity was first fleeing the void, there are reports of attempts by another group to hide within another cave system not too far from Wilrin. There have been many attempts to scry, divine, and to even dig to where this sister city, the Lesser Refuge, if you would, could be, but to no avail. Could you perhaps search for any signs of them? Sure, why not? So, I'm really curious. I really want Drain Life. I think that'd be a lot of fun. With this Reaper form. Wait, is the cooldown only 19 seconds? I was going to say, I imagine they had a really long cooldown, and like the goal is just to constantly get this going. If it's a really short cooldown... Hmm. You do increase damage, but have reduced healing effectiveness. I probably want... Hmm. I don't know. Reap poisons enemies, but cannot critically strike. It also gains the poison tag. That's probably not... Herald of Rot. Grandfather Nurgle. That's probably not very good. Crit in these games is, like, always the end game goal. Just to have... To just crit everything. Reap has a much longer cooldown, but no longer shares a cooldown with transplants. Okay, I have to use this before I determine how we want to use it. But um, anyway, we're four hours in, and you know what that means, team. It's time for my second and final break. This break is a little longer because I have to take a brief stretch for my broken bones. 
I had to use them. How else did I make the bone daddies, of course? If you are enjoying the stream or the VOD in the future, feel free to leave a like as it does help out the channel. I will be back to determine how the Reaper form works in like two minutes. And uh, I'll see you there to go to the surface and be free of this little hellhole. Be right back. I have returned. Thank you all for your patience. While waiting, a storm has begun rolling in. So if I disappear, you know why. The door is sealed by a powerful rune. You recall Elder Gaspar's instruction on how to dispel the barrier. Into the sheltered wood. Ah, joy. 
joy. Alrighty. Show me my victims. I have science to conduct. It eludes me. Oh, interesting. Huh. I have a feeling that the bone curse is going to have to be despecialized. Hmm. Do I need transplant then? Because reap and transplant kind of serve the same purpose. You know? Except reap does damage. Regen, though. Holy shit. And there's a lot of enemies lined up with a death. Oh. That's some good shit. Okay, hold on. Maybe I'm judging preemptively here. I think I'm right about transplant, though. I think transplant can go. I do like the survival of the cruel, though. More life leech. Although, maybe I go into damage now? Because remember, that will count, um... Like when I'm low on Reaper life, right? Make sure I'm cursing it still. It feels like there's a lot of upkeep to playing a Lich. It's definitely not as chill as my dream of the Necromancer, where I just AFK and let the Bone Daddies do it all. And the Bone Daddies are killing everything. Which leaves less room for the Reap to do its job. And Reap. Over here, Bone Daddies. Wait, can I just farm XP from these things? Do they infinitely spawn? This might be a convincing... moments for uh, the site because this is necrotic to so just go full necrotic nope. fucking ow <laughs> Where's my form when I need it? There it is. But I like having the double helm. I didn't mean to press that. If I were to look at this, where is it? Harvest. Hmm. Double damage to those that are cursed. Harvest grants you ward when it cursed. Hmm. Hmm. Harvest hits instantly kill an enemy that are below a certain threshold. Harvest grants you health each time it hits a cursed enemy. Team, I think I found the thing. 
When Harvest hits a target afflicted by Spirit Plague, it applies Withering and has a chance to spread Spirit Plague's traditional target. Each link of Withering increases damage taken from Curses by 10%. I think I found what I'm looking for. And I'm sad because that means I'm gonna have to spec out of the bone daddy, I think. I think the bone daddy's gotta go. Which really hurts my soul. I know. My preview's not caught up. The Bone Daddies are my pride and joy. But we're now a Lich. I have a new pride and joy. And a Glyph of Despair, apparently. A plus one all attribute shards. <laughs> There is an aged note preserved with magic. The safety of Last Refuge does not extend beyond this point. Beyond the Shah's light is the darkness of the void and the madness of the cults that worship it. Turn back now. If you do not, may what remain of Atera's light protect you. Necromancer for better for the Bone Daddy. I a thousand percent agree. So I am getting us back out of the Bone Daddies. It hurts my soul. But, I have a scheme. I don't know about the Spirit Plague thing, but we're going to put in Harvests. Because, using Harvests, we can get more health. Harvest hits have a chance to reduce enemy necrotic resistance. And that. That's pretty good. I think we're going to want to go, like, balls deep um, necrotic for Lich. I think that's the play. If you want to... The wanna... cultists had a philosophy. The void transcends reality. And by embracing it... So could they. The logic fits. After all, this world was gone. If they devoted themselves to despair, would it welcome them? A form of hope. Desperate. Worthless in the end. Hey, what makes Zinch proud? I mean, you know, I respect that. Interestingly, I have respect out of the b double bone daddy, but I still have the double bone daddy. I imagine that'll change once I recast it. If you were super mega tryhard, could you like respect? Well, no. Although I don't know what the minimum. I guess it depends. Is the minimum spec level at cap level cap the cap spec? Because if so, you could do some degenerate shit. But hey, when isn't there degenerate shit? This route will bypass many areas, but requires access to and completion of a lightless arbor. Alternate leveling? 
Do I want to do this? I don't know. Couldn't I? Um, I guess I want to make a new loot filter then. Create a new filter. I mean, skull. Green. Necrotic. Necrotic booster. Give me that necrosis. Add a rule. Show condition. Affix. Damage. Spell. I mean, spell damage is good, right? Acolytes. Really? Really? There's a fucking wall of text here? Is there not like a damage type? Can I search necrotic? There's a damage type. Necrotic damage. Necrotic pen? Necrotic damage while transformed. Shared increased necrotic damage? Sure, whatever. I don't know what that does. Great. Uh, make this green. Emphasize. Select color. Green as fuck. Cool. I'm going to turn off the pet filter. Pet filter has served me well, but the pet filter's got to go. The bone daddies are on their way out, team. It me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Fuck. Okay. That's why we still have Bone Daddies in our roster. You know? The world's a scary place. And I don't heal enough. I didn't realize how much healing was from the rip blood. So I guess I want to respec the Bone Daddy to be um the healing type. That'd be cool. I just uh, backed out of? Yeah, that one. That's the one. Interesting. Understand me. Yep. That's good. Everyone else seems to have lost themselves. As soon as they woke, they started stomping about, rumbling the entire mountain with their steps. Is that the giant monster I saw near Last Refuge? They are the only source of life that massive I can sense. So it may have been. Wait. I also detect other humans, and they are all under the mountain. No. This is not good. That's this last refuge where they live. They won't live there for long while the mountain beneath is lumbering around, causing cave-ins and avalanches. Someone needs to stop them before the humans are all shattered into splinters. You are the only other living being that isn't acting like their head has rotted through. So you're going to have to help me. If you can find a way deeper into the caverns, of course. 
It's been so long. Can humans see in the dark? Not particularly well. That could be a problem. Do not worry, though. There are clusters of pyre amber that give off light you could use. Be careful, though. If your bark is particularly dry, you might catch fire. I don't have bark. That's good, then. Hurry, and find a way in there so we can save the humans. Okay. Oh, this is the dungeon. I mean, sure, I like dungeons. Dungeons are fun. These items might be your best bet. They might be. I feel like I worked so hard. I tried so hard. To get. Just minion damage. That now it hurts my soul a little bit to be shifting away from it, you know? I really tried. I really tried. Minion health on a ring. Ah, game. You're really teasing me now. <laughs> Alright. Okay. I'll check this merchant real quick. Yes. I don't think she'll have anything even remotely good, honestly, now that I think about this. Follow your feet. <laughs> the necromancer and you won't let go, I know, right? Oh, this is level 22. Okay. Let's, um... Let's back out of this for a minute. Let's just take... A deep breath. It deludes. deludes me. Go back to uh, your scheduled broadcast. this. What? Is there a feature about Wraith that I don't know? I have summoned a creature. Hmm. Anyway. I think this harvest is going to be kind of subpar until I can level it up to get the um... The thing, you know? The thing where it heals me on hit. I think that's when it's really going to pop off for Lich. And until then, it's going to kind of suck. I mean, technically it's good for damage, but that's kind of it. Because of its necrotic vulnerability. I can use potions, though. If I want to keep my, rip my Reaper form going. I don't know if that's a good idea, but I can't. Alright, let's get out of this zone. Is what I would say. But I kind of want to fuck this guy up again. I say, but didn't he kind of screw me over? I think he did. There we go. We have our Lich one. We have Necrotic Vulnerability. Bring forth the regular Bone Daddy. 
I might need to respect my curse, actually. Because my curse is all based on, you know, being applied to the bone daddies. But that's not what we're about anymore. We're not about that life. So... I have to change that. I'm gonna have to read what it's actually about now. Okay. Shattered wood. The cultists had a. Yes. I think I crashed the game. It says press any button to skip, so I pressed escaped, and now it just stopped working. Oh, there we go. Okay. So, let's take a look at where we are. Bone Curse becomes a toggled aura around you, but it has a reduced area and drains your mana over time. You are also inflicted with the Bone Curse. Oh, that kind of sucks. I don't know about that one. After directly casting Bone Curse, you also cast Bone Curse on hit for the next few seconds. Enemies afflicted by the Bone Curse have a chance to explode. Bone Curse deals more damage and instantly kills enemies that are below a certain threshold. Being enemy with the Bone Curse has a chance to summon a Skeleton Vanguard. Bone Curse falls off after only one hit, but it always crits and deals significantly more damage. And now has a cooldown. Hmm. What do we need? Marked for death. Oh, Marked for Death might be good. Yes, it's converted to... That's what we need. Each point removed will reduce skill by one. Ah... Uh. This skill reduced for the other one. Oh, hmm. God damn it. <laughs> it brought it down a level. Okay. That sucks a lot. I thought you could freely respect that. Maybe that's just later in the game. Oh, that's fine. We'll start moving it this way. And I got a thing. Um, we'll get one point in the increased damage. Sure, why not? I want to make it go. I want to make the curse larger, which is cool. And then I want to switch it to necrotic damage, so that I can benefit from my scythe reduction, which just leveled up. Okay, I'm too. Level ups away from the scythe healing me. Which, in hindsight, was a foolish thing. Should have just gone balls deep on it, but that's okay. 
I kind of thought I could freely respect, so that's my bad. Like I said, maybe that's a thing for later. We have the Twin Void Prophet Hawk. I didn't mean to cast it that way. Okay, I'm just gonna use my health potion. <laughs> just use the health potion. No big deal. Find them all over the place. But it is difficult picking up, picking up stuff. I struggle. The day will come when this stupid thing heals me. Reminds me of, uh, what was that guy's name? Zool from Heroes of the Storm, which I actually referenced like a week ago or something, because I said it was dead, and I got a comment saying it wasn't dead, and you know what? I hope it's not. But that's not what... Thank you. Not what Blizzard thinks. Oh, hello. I enjoyed that game a lot. I played it in uh, Alpha and Beta. My account still has those little symbols. I like to think I was a pretty good Brightwing. It was added later. But. Brightwing loves friends. And I love Brightwing. I think Brightwing was even canonically added to WoW after that. Like eventually. As was Murky. Oh, Murky, I just remember. The untamed days. The uncontested bullshit pusher. Come, everyone stack up. Wasn't I complaining about this earlier, where you just do a run around for 20 seconds before you wait for your cooldowns and then I think pop off? I think I was. <laughs> Pretty sure I was. Ah well. Times change. As Garrosh loves to remind us. Ooh, got close there. You know what would be really fucking wow cracked? If I died. That'd be pretty cracked. If, um... It eludes me. It eludes me. The cooldown was ticking away. While... Where's my corpse? I was in reaver form. Reaper form. You'd always be in reaver form if that was the case. My poor scrub body. Got used to having blood rip. Not used to ha Oh my fucking spears. Well, this looks bad. That looks bad too. Everything looks bad. Ah. Pick up the health potion. I really need that heal spell. <laughs> exiled mage. Wonder why you're exiled. You're a dick. That's why you're exiled. Can I kill these? I can. If I had the damage. Oh, you killed the bone daddy. 
Don't worry. I'll kill you. Well, maybe I won't kill you. My damage blows. Fucking how? Maybe I should just say it as a pet build until I got more levels going. <laughs> Uh, that's what I'm thinking I should have done. No. That's fine. We'll get there. Oh, I might need to rework my masteries too. Now that I think about it. Very wands. Can I get more health? <laughs> get that aside. Um so how would I rework this if I wanted to? Probably more bone aura for armor. We can go for additional vitality. Crimson Glutton. Reduced health drain. Maybe this will all be resolved once I get life drain. We'll see. We'll see. Perhaps all will be absolved. All sins, all weakness, all flaws. What was his wand? That is a lot of spell damage, holy shit. Chance to slow on spell hit. Chance to apply frailty on spell hit. Chance to shred armor on spell hit. Chance to electrify on spell hit. Chance to poison on spell hit. 6% more spell damage per negative ailment on the target, up to 8. 1% increased cast speed per 2 intelligence. 1 mana gain on potion per 4 intelligence. That is very good. In fact... I don't know. If we'll find something better in a long time. I might take this just for the war generation. Gotta be honest. Hot is not dead, it's undead. Oh, I see. See, now I can speak in my language. That's a cool wand. I wonder if he always drops that once. That'd be cool. Oh, anyway. That was, I think, the toughest fight I've had so far. Respect. Respect. The debuff should be stacking up now, I think, because I think the harvest counts as a spell, right? Maybe? That's his melee attack. Hmm. Perhaps I'm misunderstanding. Perhaps the definition of spell is much more, uh... Narrow in Elastipok. Is this where I died? It might be. That's a lot of shit coming my way. Oh, yeah, this is where I died. Very embarrassing. And the Bone Daddy died too. But don't worry, I'll be back. Holy shit.
Yes, babe. Good job. What should you do when you're struggling with mobs? Get more on your side. I'm already out. Oh my god, that was terrifying. Well, the Bone Daddy did stuff. Maybe I should get that talent where people affected by the Bone Curse can explode. That sounds fun. That is too much. Too much, she says. Worthless anyway. Oh, that was scary. Okay. First death in a while, right? Actually, I think that was the first one of the stream. Like, first Feel actual lucky. death. Unless you meant you had your first death as well, in which case, Ripper. Room. I don't think any of this is better than what I'm wearing. Ooh. I'm going to take this. This is way more armor. Literally double the armor. Also, look, probably looks cooler. Oh, we have a plus one to bone curse. Interesting. Its ward retention is way worse. And it doesn't have the minion health. But it's going to be more spell damage. And plus one to Bone Curse. Is that worth it? I'm going to take these gloves as well. Ex experimental. Uh, I'm going to take these gloves, actually. I don't know what an experimental item is. Okay, if I were to we go F. Oh, I can add minion damage to this. Oh, uh, let's add a health. Sure. Upgrade and reroll? <gasps> oh, oh, oh. I think I see what just happened. Maybe. <laughs> I do not know what an endurance threshold is, but I think it's a stat I don't have. Which makes this not great. This gives me plus one to Bone Ward, which is over here. Which is interesting. Hey, this respec lady, how how respec-y are you? What are we talking about here? Greetings. So I can take that out. To put a point in here. I have to have 20 in Acolyte in order to get to this. Nope, shit. Fuck. That's not what I wanted. There we go. So now I have access to Drain Life. Channeled spell that targets up to three enemies around the target location, doing necrotic damage over time, and leashing 3% of that health. Back, you have no mana regen while channeling. Um... So this command over harvest? What's the cooldown on this? What are, we, what are we talking about here? Oh. Huh. Interesting. So this could be my main spell instead of harvest. Although I feel like Harvest is a pretty good main spell. 
once I, you know, level it up and whatnot. Hmm. Otherwise, what would this come in over? Maybe I bring this in over a transplant. Oh god, this sounds terrifying. Chance to slow and fear its targets each second. Oh, I need to cap this before I can get another target, though. You gain ward over time while channeling based on your maximum mana. Brain life can affect enemies in a wider area. This does not affect the maximum number of enemies you can train. Increased area stats from this tree and other sources has no effect on drain life's area of effect, but instead grants additional ward retention. I have a feeling drain life is absolutely crunk. I'm going to hold this and see how we feel about it. You met your death. You haven't died in a while. Actually, good job. Proud of you. Just found a mass that found adds bonus rip blood. Fantastic. So. Oh, interesting. I think. Exploding zombie. I think drain life is the way. Wait, what's going on? I mean, this is good. I don't know, I think this might be a good combo, actually. Because Harvest Sight doesn't take any mana, right? So if we're dumping mana into this... Then the question is, what do I bring in Reaper form? I definitely want to. 35 is my next spec level. Which is a higher percentage of damage as health and deals more damage to targets that are lower on health. Well, let's bring in uh, Reaper. Increased damage. Is this a damage over time effect? It is. Hmm. Deal additional necronic damage. Yes? I definitely want this, right? You definitely want I definitely want the health to decay slower. And more damage over time means more drain life damage. And then reap like reduce the cooldown to that. You gain additional necrotic and poison resistance. Reap moves you further. In a larger area and leech a portion of the damage in. Thought Reap already healed me. You gain health from kills. Each percent of health you are missing. You increase damage and have increased critical strike chance, but lose health when you kill an enemy. <laughs> Gain ward when entering Reaper form. Reaper's Blessing also grants ward when you transform. I am. You have increased health, healing effectiveness and leech more damage when you... Yes. I want this. And then we got the minion thing. If we want it.
Grants a stack of Reapers Ascendants every five seconds you spend in Reaper form, which grants you increased spell damage. You can have up to 25 stacks of Reapers Ascendants at a time. Okay. Bleed chance? Bleed deals physical damage over time, the last three seconds, and can stack an unlimited number of times. Whenever you kill an enemy, you have a chance to summon a skeleton vanguard from its corpse. A menu that deals melee physical damage using a spear, you'll to three active skeleton vanguards. This va node also increases health to any skeleton vanguard summoned from any source. Skeleton vanguards are not affected by the summon skeleton tree. That's good to know, because I was going to ask that. Soul bearing has reduced cooldown. Hmm. Hmm. Your spells and melee attacks instantly kill enemies that they leave below a health threshold. Okay, so I'm going to put one point into the skeleton vanguard thing. Just have more shit flooding around. You know? Hey, Glucos Dauphin. It is indeed like Diablo. It's a lot of fun. Right now, the online version's kind of having... Like, the servers are kind of having issues, but... Uh, I'm really enjoying the game. Although, I couldn't tell you if I'm enjoying the game because of the game, or if I'm enjoying the game because I fucking love Necromancers. <laughs> It could be both. Wow, okay, that was absolutely fucked. Bone Daddy! Bone Daddy, save me! I panicked hard when I didn't have Transplant there. But, uh... It'll be fine. We're good. We're perfectly fine. All is well. Look how much I healing with this. Holy crap. I don't know how much damage it does. Goodness gracious. I heal a lot in Reaper form now. Love to see it. And it's only going to get better. drain life. Now I understand why I would want, like, mana regen. So I can just keep channeling drain life. <laughs> now. Okay, why'd I use a mana potion? Or a potion? Just, just drink. Just drink from the life force of your foes. Delicious. A bit fatty. But delicious. Got a little vanguard going. Is it time? Is this the level up we were waiting for? I don't think it is. Can I tank all this? I cannot. <laughs> well, I had a dream. One day. I mean, you know. Who needs Reaper form, you know? <laughs> it would definitely be a waste if you went Lich and just didn't use the Reaper form, but who needs it, you know? All I need is Drain Life. Like I said, though, uh, this is a lot more stressful than just going Necromancer. 
But I mean, it's pretty cool. I'm digging the lifesteal. Trying to fight against fate. Alright, what do we got? Finally! Harvest grants you health each time it hits a cursed enemy. The combo. Is here. Can I make it work? The million dollar question. If you're relying on Reaper, you want it slotted, obviously. Obviously. It's not so much my reliance, I think. I think it's just my big deeps. Greetings. Do not be alarmed, you Slaneshi looking motherfucker. Okay. We are not the madmen you seen on the road. We are different survivors. What brings you here? Is this Welrun? Yes, though it's been seen better days. The cultists who use the blessings of oblivion as an excuse for destruction have rendered the city uninhabitable. Those of us who retained our sanity were forced into exile here at the edge of the ruins. What brings you here? I'm searching for the Temple of Eterra. How interesting. We would like to make an offer. We're planning a ritual. Should you succeed, it would give us power to defend ourselves from mad Kelpis. But we need aid retrieving relics from Welrin. A phylactery from the ruins to the north, and the symbol of hope held by the cultists in the docks to the south. If you gather these relics for us, we will grant you passage beyond Farewell. the city. I'm willing to bet this Laneshi motherfucker is lying to me. Somehow. I couldn't tell you how. Just feeling. Mm -hmm. Just a feeling. Well, all the weapons are immediately being sold. You know, this would be pretty good for a tanking. Which is what I'm doing. A lot of. That's going on for sure. 10% increased. Necrotic damage. Um, sure, I can go. Does that increase to region on the boot? Wait, what? You know what? I will take that. Although, I mean, this is pretty good. That's fine. Mm. Mm -hmm -hmm. If I'm being a tanky bastard, shield's probably the way. Oh. Have a chance to seal an Aphex instead of upgrading it. The sealed Aphex is moved to its own slot, leaving its old slot open to add a new Aphex. Sure. Oh. Never mind. I cannot do that. So go away. Oh, I can't do it in general. Because why? Oh, it's tier 3, and I'm bringing it to tier 4. Oh. That's a lot. <laughs> Alright, fine. We'll try this. Mm -hmm. What did you have? I didn't even look at your goods. Most of, most of it's not worth it. How do you not have Bone Daddy in the upgraded slots? This is my, uh, my test character. And I'm going Lich, so... The Bone Daddy had to come out. Who are you? He was there, though. And he's there on my real character. The fact that you're in front of me, have you lost your home also? How did you know? A feeling, a glint of grief in your eye. 
We had to leave the larger ruins. Others let the void drive them to violence. They relish in cruelty and taint the void with it, attracting horrors. Why can't they see tranquility? The peace of oblivion. Wait, what? Instead, the horrors ruin our home. I can defeat them. You can? Oh, how I wish to believe. May tranquility Go be on. with you. Mm hmm. Sure thing, bud. <laughs> this is the health management class. Yeah. Okay. And go fight this guy up. Makes me wonder how Warlock plays. I have no idea. Warlock apparently is the newest addition. Uh, Warlock and Falconeer were added in 1.0. So, not sure if anyone else knows either. I mean, I'm sure the people who got to test it know. Is that a boss? I just stopped paying attention after a while. Give me your soul. Beast upon it. Well, the healing is happening. Something. I do feel tankier as well. So, I mean... I feel quite a lot tankier, actually. I just got body slammed and it was fine. Maybe this is the call. The twin devoid prophet of haste. Okay, I'm gonna choose to believe that that fast heal was because of the heal up or level up, and not because of anything I did. So why am I bleeding, people? Is there a reason here? Gonna take more necrotic damage. Most of the bleeding effects in the Acolyte Tree involve converting your damage types to physical, which I'm really not a fan of. The Harvest Healing is based off of um, your intelligence. So, that's worth noting. Even a naked Bone Daddy is just so good. So great. What is this? Oh! Oh, that was a prison I opened! Oh, now that makes so much sense. Oh, that is not going to be easy to maneuver. Just going to tank it. The Bone Daddy is dead! Unacceptable! Gonna suck your soul. I basically have infinite life right now, which is pretty cool. It eludes me. We need to lose you. Pressing the wrong button, that's why. Make sure I'm harvesting. I went into that. Look at it. Oh my god, I heal through everything. <laughs> Killed the bone daddy again. Okay, I lost all my mana. Give me a second. I need a minute. This guy's really scary. I do not have a build to deal with this. What does death really mean for somebody who has mastered it? Boredom. An eternity to ponder my errors. 
and how close I came to victory. Okay. I'd like to fight something. Thank you. Drain life sure is nice. Honestly, drain life might just be the prime feature of this class. <laughs> the bone daddy perished. Tragedy. There is such a huge difference between the uh, the fully juiced Bone Daddy and the Naked Bone Daddy. But the thing is, the Naked Bone Daddy still does the damage, you know? He still slams, jams, anything else. So. For a heretical build like mine, it works. Is this invincibility or is this forms? Forms, it's fantastic. Hello? Oh. Hi. The Void Centipede. Terrifying. Great babe. Num, 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 num. Okay. Take my thing now. Before you was an altar made by the cultists who lived in the docks. A large cultist has been crucified with a glowing object embedded in his chest. Within the object you see swirls of speckled light. Almost like a star. This must be the symbol of a hope. Think there's anything else in this fucking zone or are we done? Three skills, <laughs> three skills, Bone Daddy, Drain Life, and Lich Form. Those are the only things you need. Well, I mean, that's true. But the curse is helping me out in a few ways. What did we get from that guy? Didn't that guy give me something special? Oh yeah, this thing. Dex, ward on kill, additional ward decay threshold, poison resist, stun chance resist. Oh. Not better. Not better. Okay. All right. Hmm. I don't know what to do with experimental stuff. Like, can I... Is there a special use for it besides just it being special? Mm -hmm. Couldn't say. The ruins of Welrin. Hey, Bone Daddy. You're doing great. There's probably a world where you just have so- you can get so much mana regen that you don't care about anything besides life drain. That world probably exists. You just go full, like, damage over time. And mana. And then you just- heal infinitely. I mean, your mana doesn't regen while you're casting Drain Life, right? Unless there's a unique for that, which there could be. That would be kind of spicy. No, oh, it died. Oh! Hello. Well, I tried to get this heal up. Okay. I tried to get that heal off while I was still in Reaper form, but... Good bone daddy. Oh. Mm. 
na, na. I guess I should be treating Drain Life as my big damage, too. It's my sustain, it's my damage, it's everything. Um, okay, fair. I'm cool going through terrain. The Bone Daddy can keep up, he knows what's up. A good fight, I say. A good fight. Oh, look, another one. Not that it matters to me. There was a storm going on, and it was nice and overcloudy, overcast. I was enjoying it. Now the sun has come out to be in my eyes. I almost died, by the way. Because the Bone Daddy died, that's why. Every time he goes down, everything just goes to shit. That's a sign. It has to be. I couldn't tell you what kind of sign, to be honest. But, um... Oh, hey, my mastery of the Reaper form has gone up. Do I go for the insta-kill, the improved lifesteal, the damage? The choices are limitless. Hmm. What are we looking for? Damage, life, all the above. Oh my god, look at this. Go. Cool. Did the Bone Daddy die again? Bone Daddy. Come now. Maybe I should save him. There's a... well, it's just Reap, right? The trait where I can heal my undead. Okay, so we have the healing on this. We have the Necrotic Reducer. We can get more area. The sun has... Oh, hey, here's that bleeding thing. Both you and the enemy are inflicted with bleed. Please, as an enemy, inflicted by harvest are... Additional physical penetration. The self-inflicted bleed does not scale with your stats. Why would I want to bleed? Harvest consumes all of your remaining mana on use. No, I'm good. Dude, this is converting it to physical to do the bleeding stuff. Harvest deal more damage per stack of poison on the target. I'd rather do poison shit. Reaper can go poison, right? Yeah... So that's a synergy, I suppose. I could start getting ward as well. Harvest do deal more damage against cursed. Sure, do that. And we are finally able next time to give them the Sigil of Mortality. Reaper form. He can get Unholy Dominion, but I don't think I want it. We're heading over here, right? No, we were heading down here. You have more ward retention. Yes. Here's the heal thing. So I'll grab one of these just for ward, and then I'll grab one of the Reaper's Ascendants for damage. Which I cannot, because I need another of this. Okay, fair enough. 
Okay, now we're back over here. And we'll get Apocrypha. For mana regen. So we can better reap our souls. Or drain souls. I think I've managed to do the pivot. We've managed to pivot the build, I think. I'm kind of proud of it. I'm satisfied. Again, is this actually good? Probably not. But, uh, it's fun. And that counts for something. Where am I going? I need to go somewhere else, I think. There's like a different zone here or something. Oh, we're going there. We're still waiting. Waiting for this massive cooldown. Got some cockroaches. Excuse me. There are so many bosses here. Oh, look, another one. Come to die. The bone, like the bone daddy. I'll be very interested to test out um, when I do this as a necromancer if the bone daddy is this squish I can tell you one thing I'm not going to have this health region I just stood there and tanked it like a... You have to go all the way around. That's fine. And I definitely miss Transplant. I don't know if I put it back on the bar, but I miss it. The fact that it shared a cooldown with Reap was a big, big uh, deal blow for me. Reducing this cooldown. Worthless <laughs> anyway. Venom. All right, what am I talking about? Too much. What am I thinking about? I have the greatest weapon I could possibly have right now, with the unique thing. I don't think there's any world in which I find a better weapon than what we're, what we're rocking right now. Mm, sucky, sucky, sucky. <laughs> Alright, before we hit the Undercity, I'm gonna teleport home. Wait. Secret? Eh, is the boss a secret? Probably not. Okay. Let me just sell all this crap. Hmm. One thing I will say is I did like in Diablo where you could just break everything. You know? That's a lot of minion health. Not a lot of armor, though. And I am currently tanking like a motherfucker. I like this, though. Most of what that is. I might try and... Work my magic here. Uh, this is definitely tankier. Thank you. Trash. Trash. Alright.
if I have chaos here? So basically, with chaos. Here we go. Upgrade and reroll stun avoidance. Do the do. Elemental resistance. Not bad, actually. I've seen worse. We can add a health regen. Sure. Health regen, mana regen, damage over time, elemental resist. That is a pretty darn good ring now. I like it. Can I... Hold on. Didn't I have something that was like... Oh, it's down here. Destroys an item, creating a number... Yeah, yeah. We can shatter it. Crit strength and minion health shard. Interesting. Okay. I'm getting it. It's coming to me. It's coming to me. I like this crafting system. I have high hopes for this. Welcome to the Undercity. We're in the Thunderdome now. Oh, I need the Bone Daddy. Impossible. I wonder... Because Harvest right now is definitely a filler. Like, it exists as a filler. And sometimes you need fillers. Ah, a living human that isn't dripping with the void. Can you understand me? Or are you mad like the rest? I can understand you. Splendid, you can hear my request to them. I need your aid in ending my existence. Excuse me? I have been entombed here for centuries, and this broken world no longer has anything to offer me. The immortal emperor's gift was once a blessing, but now it is a curse. I'll help you if you give me your phylactery. You have a deal, living one. What I do? Destroy the three soul repositories and return to me. Only then can my sanctuary be destroyed. You have my gratitude. Alright. Off we go. See, so yeah, I think the dream with this kind of build is to make it so someday you just don't need this filler. Or the filler becomes better. One or the other. It was very rare, but there is a there are some builds where the filler becomes the thing, you know? Oh, you're actually an attack. Did you one-shot the Bone Golem? The disrespect. I like how you can use potions, too. There's probably a way you can get, like, more potions. Or, like, infinitely generate potions from just random shit. Nice. This might be a record for my Reaper time, which, of course, expires now. That's pretty good. Save us. I'm not here to save you. In fact, I'm here to do exactly the opposite. Sure. Because I think I can. I think I can run from everybody. The Bone Daddy died again. Oh, the poor Bone Daddy. How far he's come in the wrong direction. I blame the cultists. Their spears fucking hurt. I know. 
I don't blame the Bone Daddy for this. You've returned, and the soul repositories are destroyed. If I could, I would grace you with the Emperor's gift as thanks, but that time has long passed. A true death. I never thought this moment would come. None of us did. Will the immortal Emperor recognize me on the other side, I wonder? If there is another side. Now, I recommend you stand back. Tearing the phylactery from my body may prove volatile. What do you mean, vola? Um, I don't know, that doesn't seem very volatile to me. That doesn't seem pretty chill. No. Okay. Oh, that's what that door was for. Okay. Hmm? You're back. But where is everyone? They told me to tell you they're setting up the ritual site just ahead. They're waiting for you. Oh, it's going to be wonderful. Just you wait. Farewell. Why does my character trust them? I wouldn't trust them. I don't trust them. There are 100% some Slaneshi cultist bullshit going on here. And we're just going to walk right into it. Yes. Excellent work. We expected no less. Did you find both relics? Yep. Now observe. The souls trapped in the phylactery are scared of us. Scared of the oblivion in the void. See how they strain, reaching for the symbol of hope. What are you doing? For the final pieces... The void scours that hope from this world. Our bodies will be used as sacrifice that we may become one. Yep. The void amalgamation. Can I tank this? Barely. Not safely. Let's not uh, push our luck too much here. That's kind of awkward. There we go. Good positioning. The bone daddy's dead. All right, let's pick him up. We gather. Bone Daddy's gonna die again. He tries, you know. He really does. Casually walk out of that one. And once again, the Bone Daddy is no more. But I shall rectify the situation. In we go. Easy. Easy game is life. Like, that was the most obvious thing in the world. <laughs> I told you it was going to happen. I knew it was going to happen. It happens. Cultists never change. Cultists are always the same. Hmm. Okay, I was thinking, wait a minute. Why am I stuck on three health here? Did I find a tricksy trapsy? No, I did not. Your death has come. The drain life just sit there and tank it has been supremely fun. That's the key to the Lich build. My recommendations now with Lich. Stay full minion commit until you get drain life. 
and then you can do the drain life event with necrotic damage. That's how I plan. If you uh, are approaching this like I am. But who knows. I'm sure there's some like super meta way to do this that's super efficient and gets you to level what level cap? 70? 50? 100? I don't know. Level cap as soon as possible. As cleanly as possible. It eludes me. I think 100 is the cap, right? But it's kind of like PoE. And that the end game starts at like 70 or something, I think. That sounds right. Maybe it's 50. Did that just say he was weak to necrotic damage? That would explain why he melted. Welcome back, Bone Daddy. Don't know what killed you this time, but... You're back. Well, that's what matters. Level 23. Wow. I'm stuck. I am dead. <laughs> Thankfully, I was right here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the danger of not having transplant. My only maneuverability is in Reaper form. That's why I don't play hardcore. That, and could you imagine a hardcore character dying to all the server issues going on right now? You don't have to. All you have to do is go look at what happened with Diablo 4. Same thing. Impossible. I don't know why I thought my cooldown was back, but I did. I definitely did. You know what? Sure. I'll put in a point and bleed. My poor bone daddy. doesn't know. But that's okay. He doesn't have to know. I could get used to this attack speed. I could get used to it real quick. Attack speed is a stat, right? It has to be. It has to be. <laughs> you have to start. Well, uh, I think you were here when I was playing my online character. Although I started this character, so basically for the first two hours, almost exactly, um, I was playing Apathia, who was a full minion build, and then the servers went down, and the offline and online characters aren't connected, so I had to make a new character, and Ankia, this character, started as a minion build for like hours two to four. 
just a little different type of minion build. And then, starting after my second break, I got my mastery. I got my mastery right before my second break, and then I started with this Reaper shit. And it's been an interesting pivot. <laughs> I miss my invincible Bone Daddy, but um, Drain Life is pretty cool. And of course, who can who can say no to having two sides as a Reaper? It's a very tempting aesthetic. So yeah, that's the DLDR. You're all caught up. Of course, the Bone Daddy is still here. I can't get rid of the Bone Daddy. Even though if I'm pretty sure if I was trying to be super sweaty efficient, I wouldn't have him. I mean, maybe. He's very helpful. And he does good damage baseline, so... Hard to say. Maybe I can him. Drain life is definitely the star of the build now, though. And that's probably how it would stay, honestly, throughout leveling. Might even be an in-game thing? I don't know. I really don't know. Feels like it could be. Honestly, a lot of the endgame builds are defined by unique items. Which typically allow, you know, really peculiar things to happen. Like, there might be an, a unique item that lets you regenerate mana while casting Drain Life, in which case you would be literally unkillable. Unless you get, like, silenced or something. The Lost Refuge. That would be too good. I can't see that being an item. But maybe. Who knows? Well, maybe it doesn't do enough damage. Like, endgame builds, they look to do just god tier amounts of damage like literally one button screen explodes type damage that's usually what they look to do holy poison i suppose unholy poison The suck. I hate those rock things. Look at the suck. The bone daddy has fallen again. This is a tragedy. Can only be rectified with the blood of innocence. I find the temple. I find a lot of enemies. What the fuck is this? Death will not take me. You're right, it won't. Heal me. Cool. We were going over here. Against cursed enemies. Yep. Interesting. 
Interesting. Ward granted by the skill tree is also granted to your minions. Huh. I like how there's a chat in offline mode. Who the fuck am I going to chat to? Myself? I do that enough. Alright, Bone Daddy. Let's go. You and me. Again. You and me forever. A large stone table holds an open tome. This record has been established to chronicle the history of Magister Wallace and his exodus to the underground in the face of a creeping, dark substance. The elders of Welwyn are fools. They have spent so long hiding the nature of the Shard from the immortal empire. If the second those tyrants are at their weakest, they want to flee into the mountains. We'll get to this so-called outcast queen. What we need is a lesser refuge. We have found a cave system not far from the city. Inside, darkness is there. Along with some weakened immortal scum. I wager that this darkness, the void as we now call it, was born from one of their foul experiments. The fact that they die from it now is justice. Now we wait for the void to dissipate and head back to the surface. This text appears to be in a different handwriting. How ironic. My last testament would be written in the journal of Wallace. The second those mad void worshippers found us, he offered us to them. Funny, because they tore him to pieces all the same. His bones are laying in the back in our city, under how much of that darkness only Etera knows. For decades we hid here. The Magister insisted we were in no real danger, only for the Void to sweep in and end us all. We carved homes from this stone. We've raised children here. We've lived. Wallace was wrong. This place was not a lesser refuge. It was our last refuge. Two passive points. The game really wants me to put a point up here. It really does. But I'm not going to. <laughs> the Aura of Decay. Toggles Aura of Decay, which poisons you every second and leaves a trail of decay. Enemies near you or in the trail are poisoned four times a second. And your chance to poison on hit applies to each of these instances of the 25% effective. While Aura of Decay is active, you take 50% less poison damage. Interesting. All sources of health leech are converted to increase damage at 10 times their value. For example, 1% of spell damage leech as health would become 10% increased damage. This is not on top of the leeching, right? This is taking away my life leech for more damage. Well, desolate means more life steal, and more life steal is more good. That's what I'm going to take away from that. Somewhere along the way, I might want to think about incorporating... No. Everything. I might want to think about incorporating... A damage over time effect. Probably the Spirit Plague. So I can synergize with it. A smile upon you. you found the lesser refuge. Please tell me everything you saw. Were there survivors? I see. That is a tragedy. But at least with this tome, you'll be able to preserve their memory. They didn't want to be called the lesser refuge. Oh? What did they want to be called? The refuge. Ah, I see. I will honor their last wish in that case. Cool. The 24. I'm just going to keep doing this. May I tear a smile upon you? Oh. Okay. Farewell. Wonder what uh, this. Whoa, this is cool. Hmm. 
Allies within range are healed by Aura of Decay each second. Aura of Decay heals more health the less health you currently have. Allies includes you. <laughs> Interesting. The Aura of Decay is eating away at you while also healing you. Weird. Minions within Aura of Decay's area of effect have a chance to poison on hit, but are poisoned every second. Minions within Aura of Decay's area of effect deal more poison damage. Hmm. Very strange. I was kind of expecting to find... You have additional poison resistance while in Aura of Decay, and you have increased health regeneration if you have deactivated Aura of Decay recently. I guess something like that, sure. Hmm. So I guess this is why there's a bunch of traits to have, like, poison resist for this character. Interesting. I wonder if poison's any good. Every time I hear the word poison, I get suspicious, you know? It really depends. I think I equip this. This is pretty good. I'm going to lose minion damage, but... Like I said, we've been moving away from minion stuff. Increased mana regen, increased healing effectiveness. Hmm. We're going to lose one to Bone Curse with this. But it might be worth it, actually. That's a better hat. I like it. Oops. One point removed from Bone Curse. Yeah, feels bad. I wish I could respect this for free, but I cannot. Maybe I should start taking away this so it levels faster? Does it work that way? I'll just take away from this, because this will let me... Actually, I can remove away from all this, right? Because then I just bring it way down, and then it will level up real quick. Okay. Because it ever, it's like, oh, look, it's really low level. It just catches up to the other ones really quick. Okay. Seems good. Uh, and I'm going to yes. toss all this, I think. All right. Okay, what do you have? Yes. What were these uh, crafting stuff? Follow Great. Your feet. I'd like to find this thing before we end today. The Temple of Etera. There's a quest here, too. Oh, is this a time rift? Could be. Very well could be. Yep, look at that. Called it. I was right. The Ancient Forests. And there it is, finally. The mark for death. So mark for death reduces all resistance. I hope I don't come to regret this. Let me explore this first before we go wandering off. 
So basically, I can pop that, and then I deal way more damage. The downside is, uh, cost more mana. That's okay. I have a very low mana expenditure build as it is. I mean, you know, except for drain life costing all my mana. Consumed Groll. Uh. The Void Wing Nests. Hmm. I was kind of expecting there to be a dead end here because I'm about to go cross time again. And that's usually what happens. Lower resistances. I can definitely tell. The assassin's wands. If there's like a mana on hit thing, that'd be fun. I wonder how Mark of Death's reduced resistances stacks with, um... The necro just the, the flat necrotic reduction. Or does it? Am I just being silly and wasting points? Who knows? Stay tuned to find out on today's episode. Well, a later episode of Dragon Ball Z. But, uh, so far my impression of the ledge is pretty good. Definitely a necromancer boy. But, uh, I'm vibing with the lich now. Big fun. So why is this a spot? I remain confused. But we'll continue to search. For I believe... There has to be something here. I like how I just walked through the door. But this uncivilized Cretan had to break it. We Life. Life. It's a disease. I wonder how I get a minimum skill increase. I thought it would just go up with the levels, but it's been a while since I've increased from four. Based on an average? No. Hmm. That doesn't make sense. I don't know. Num 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 num. Can't stop this. Good? Bone Daddy, do you do a different damage type if I make you a Sanguine Gong? Wait, am I supposed? Oh. Huh. I wholly expected this to be, like, the ancient gateway to be a way to get to my objective, but I just walked around and found my objective. So what's the ancient gateway for? <laughs> Oh, the questions, they are limitless.
He tried. They ain't got nothing on me. How does commentary work for these? Because I feel like I'm beginning to repeat myself. People just go on like long random tangents that aren't related. Because I feel like that's the next logical equation. Like how much can you stream running a map repeatedly? Oops. It's a good question, my it's a good question, me. I don't know. What was that game recently? Someone said it in Discord. Oh, right, like Power Wash Simulator. Basically, people were using it as like the, um, like a just chatting game. I feel like these could be very similar. Just like hanging out, chatting. You know, assuming you're not playing hardcore. Hardcore would just be stressful. I played hardcore WoW. That, that was enough stress for me. I'm not interested in more. All right, what the hell is this for? Also, my curse and reaper form have leveled up. I'll have to deal with that. Minion command. Pressing A will command your minions to attack the target or run to the targeted location. Explore the ancient forest. I would love to. Mark for death lasts longer. Bone curses. Yes. We want this and then we want to convert it. Reaper, baby. Reaper's ascendance. Cool. I could get the heal, I suppose, to try and make it so the bone daddy lives more. Slightly. He's not even a part of the spec. And he still just smashes. Makes me proud. I try so hard. That is a large thing. The protective Archean of Shadows is dead. Sucked to death. Good job. You had a nice shield. It looks cool. I'd say I respected it, but I did not. I did not. I do not. Are we back in the same? You have heard a piercing roar. Investigate. I've heard a lot of piercing roars. Good old confusing tiny whiny. I know. Not only is it confusing, its purpose is confusing. It looks like this one's just a side quest though. Last time it was tied into my main objective. This time it's just, I'm going to go hunt a fucking dinosaur because I can. Is it you? You got sucked to death. I don't think it's you. I mean, they're all going to get sucked to death, let's be honest. That's a hope thing. Probably shouldn't leave those alone. Mash. That's an idol. Storms, though. Patient Acrian of Rampancy. Yep. It's an upgrade that it makes Reaper taste take me farther, right? I think so. Hello? Ah, huh, that's a dragon. 
primeval dragon. And it showed up as my reaper form was ending, which is very rude. Make sure we curse it. Boop, 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 boop. That was bad. Was it bad? I don't know. It looks bad. And that's enough for me, I think. Should I tank this? Probably not, but I did it. Can I tank this? I sure can. <laughs> Oh, the suck. I used a health potion for that. The bone daddy died. Well. This has been fun. Wait, can I stand on this? Oh, shit. No, not really. Looking good. More damage over time. What's the key to bring up the see-through map? It is tab. I keep thinking M will do it, but it is tab. Would you like to return to your previous time and location? Did I finish my quests? Yeah, sure. That was like a good while ago. The storyline used to be different then. Yeah, a lot of things have changed over the years. I, of course, don't know that. Or know what they are. I just know that. I'm brand new. Velocity Fox. Uh, I think I fucked up. I did. I thought it would take me to where the... Oh dear, okay. I thought it would take me to where the thing spat me out. But it took me to... I mean, technically I could just walk that way. It took me to the, the teleporter for the zone I was last in, which is not where I wanted to go. Oh, hi. I wanted to go back to where I was. Because that was cool. It was also closer to my quest objective. Let's just go this way. Used to be a completely nutty feedback loop. Uh, abomination build for the Necro. There still could be. I know the A-bomb is still in the game for the Necromancer, which of course I am a lich, so. No get that experience right now. I'm just drain life in my way to victory. Most of the time anyway. <laughs> Increase bow damage. Does your account share crafting materials? Like, you know, between online and offline characters? Not between them. But if I were to make another character, uh, a rogue or whatever that's an archer, could I get increased bow damage that I just picked up on them? Is the question. It eludes me. I think the answer is yes. But I don't know. I think that's why the um, account solo option is there. I'm 
character train. In case you did not want it to be that way. The Glyph of Chaos. Love Chaos. Proper Zinchian and all that. Come, Bone Daddy. We must wreak havoc. Crafting a loot filter is absolutely god tier in the game. I agree. I've only seen a little bit of it, and I completely agree. I have never seen a better system in an ARPG for those things. POE has all them, but the POE crafting is confusing as fuck. And the loot filters are a far more tedious process in that game. I don't think I ever actually made my own loot filter in PoE. It is yoinked them. In the same type of gameplay, all characters stare stash. Excellent. Excellent. I didn't know if the forge counted as stash, but good to know. See, this is where I wanted to come out. Stuff respawn. Mm. That's fine. I'll kill it some more. Where are we at? I want to see this Temple of a Terra thing through to its end, and then we'll probably call it for today. See how we feel. Give Last Epoch a few days to take a deep breath. It eludes me. Because mana's a bitch. Thought you got something there. Need to break it to you. I should know. I enjoy breaking it to you. Okay. How did both physical shard? You have 10k hours in PoE and you don't know how to metagraph. <laughs> that sounds right. <laughs> that sounds right. I have only a fraction of that, but my 10k hour game is wow. It eludes me. Unfortunately. Boop. And... Boop. One away. Only minion damage increases the damage of minions. Good to know. I was curious. What, are you fighting each other? What's going on here? If so, I don't really see a need to interfere, but okay. I will. I wasn't really feeling this, um, this harvest attack. But now that it's, uh, leveled up a bit. Of course, you're teasing me. He's doing the work. Ward, lifesteal, necrotic resistance down. Kinda got the whole shebang for this lich thing. This is really scary. This is really scary. This is really scary. This is really scary. Let's really <laughs> sleep, shall we? Alright, Bone Daddy. Show them what's what's what. 
Here we go. It's lich time. Okay. I feel much better when it's split into lich time. Reaper time, whatever stupid things go. Oop. Am I somehow finagling my way around? Did I see? I might have skipped the, an experimental thing, which I didn't mean to. I think I saw one and I just had forgotten where it was. I was busy trying not to die. That's my excuse. Impossible. More deadly, if not damaged recently. More health. Did feel quite flat. Bone Daddy. I'm when this thing was a boss. Feels like it's still a boss. One day. There we go. Oh yeah, there's the thing. Right over there. I knew I saw one. What's going on over here? Anything? No? Not really. They're just hanging out. That's fine. You do you. Which character in Lost Deep Fifer is also Necro? Went for just max number of any and all minions, couldn't see anything. <laughs> yeah, that kind of sounds like what I want to do. I want to just have like a like a full minion build, sit back, relax, watch as they destroy the world, you know? It could be a lot of fun. After all, what's a necromancer without his, uh, a throwaway army? This is a kind of like a vampiric type build. But I respect it. Feels more like what I'm trying to do should be kind of end gamey. But drain life is very strong in this game, so. That's going a long way. And of course, the Bone Daddy is just thick. Even without upgrades or gear. Probably can't say the same for the skeletons, though. Let me open this guy while I still have stacks. It is alarming how much damage you do. Yep, saw this coming. Oh. A problem. We barely made it, okay. He was just out of range. And it's Reaper time! This is back on. Smack, smack, smack. In rather for him. I 
for Bone Daddy. There we go. See, that's what I wanted to do. Will not take me. You're right, it won't. You have a full fake health bar. What are you talking about? Where's this thing? Oh, it's way over there. Alright, Bone Daddy. Come to me. Again, it won't. Although I do understand why you'd be more concerned this time. Wow. That's a lot of shards. Go get this chest that was teasing me earlier. Tempting me. Calling out to me. I didn't really mean to press W, but... <laughs> hey, you know, sometimes you just gotta hold dub. That is too much. Too much. Oops. Transfer. Transfer. Ooh, yes. Where is it? Where'd it go? Right here. Plus 10% necrotic damage, plus 10% increased minion necrotic damage. Taking this. Minion poison damage. Minion lightning damage. Wait, was one of these just... No. Yes? No. Good. My idols spark joy. Which is not something I thought I would ever say, really. Defeat the Temple Guardian in the courtyard. Is that you? You're the Temple Guardian. Oh, yeah, you're the Temple Guardian. Really? This is what you thought would stop me? Well. Have you not been paying attention, good sir? He hasn't been. Spoiler alert. Well, okay. It was a good talk. Goodbye now. How I stuck the statue is beyond me, but, um, you know, when there's a will, there is a way. Speaking of, Reaper time is doing what? You have a chance to cast Hungering Souls whenever you kill an enemy with a Reap. Uh, that'd be free, like, AoE damage, but I don't think I care about that too much. You deal additional necrotic damage. Yes, I do care about that. And B. For more damage over time. <laughs> You guessed it! Damage over time! The Temple of Etera. This place once held so many secrets, so much power. It could have been used for greatness. Now look at what it is being reduced to. I mean, reduced. This could be an improvement, depending on how you look at it. Yes. Are we about to enter a giant map? Because we're at six and a half hours. So I think what we're going to do... We've made it to the Temple of Etera. It looks like this is the end, in which case I'm like right there. But I think we go back to the Council Chambers. Have a chat with our Chronomancer friends. Call it a day. Are you not our... No, you're our chronomancer, friends. Welcome. Have you found any more signs of rifts in time? For now, I can undo your past decisions, if you wish. Tell her of the ancient forest and the beasts you fought. That is fascinating. I wish I could have been there. It sounds beautiful. It was loud. 
Ooh, idol slots, cool. From your description, it seemed that you were sent to a time before civilization. Almost like another world entirely. Thank you for telling me of your findings. I will continue my research. What do we get? Okay, so we got this. So I could put this back in. Look at that. We're playing with idols. I like necrotic damage. And ward retention. In fact, shall we do some crafting? I can craft. Get some health going. Sure. Adds one random tier one apexes to all. No. I could use Rune of Removal on Poison or Necronic. Oh, no, we're good. Oops. No, no, we're good. No, we're not good. Put the health back on. There's a seal and affix instead of upgrading it. The sealed affix has moved to its own slot. Chance to have no forging potential. Nah, that's fine. Hang on. I could upgrade it. I used all of its forging potential. Cool. Yeah. There you go. I don't you know what endurance is, but I don't think it involves my class. It's probably like a I don't know, Golden rogue thing. <laughs> the blade knight. Plus one to hungering souls. Now I'm good. That seemed like a pretty good damage offhand, but... Oh my. Oh my. Oh my. This is pretty good. Increased cost speed per two intelligence. And I have what? Six? Hey there. Want to try your luck? Oof. Hmm. Ah. Hmm. Hmm. Increased spirit frequency with Chthonic Fisher. That is a warlock thing. Not a me thing. 34% increase in necrotic damage. That is pretty good. That might, in fact, be... Two volatile summons on potion use. 11% increased minion damage. Well, oh, okay. Seventy percent chance to gain dust shroud when you use a melee attack that hits. Huh. That would technically count, right? This thing might be what I what I want. Tier two necrotic damage. You had a chance to slow on hit. This even if this wouldn't even tell change this, would it? No. Ah. 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 Hmm. I don't know. I'll have to think about that. But I think that's it today, team, for my first ever playing of the last epoch. I enjoy this game. I think it was a lot of fun. Do not dwell on the death. I think the way I heard this game described to me was it was a combination, like it had the approachabil approachability of Diablo, but with the a touch of the complexity from Path of Exile, complexity and like customization. And I agree with that assessment. 
it was good fun. There's a lot going on here. And um, I think I'll do another stream if everyone's interested. See how I feel. But I'll give it the servers a few days. And I might catch up with my other character and get uh, the Necromancer back. Because I want I want the Bone Daddy. I need the Bone Daddy in my life. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. Thanks for stream. My pleasure, Victorium. Thanks for being here. Thank you to the patrons and the channel members who support the channel. I greatly appreciate you. If you'd like to stay on behalf of the channel, feel free to join the Discord description down below. I will be back probably tomorrow for King Arthur, Knight's Tale, Legion 9 to establish Nova Roma. Streaming two days in a row. What am I doing to myself? Have a good day, everyone. See ya next time. Bye.